Hello, everyone. Oh my goodness, full room. All right, let's scroll on up. What do we have? Hi, Kenny. Oh, my thing is in top chat. We got to start that in live chat. Oh my goodness. Hi, Kenny. Hi, April. Hi, Jennifer. Hello, Michelle. Let's see, Ch Ch Roslyn, hello, Ev. Ev, I have a surprise for you here in a minute. Um, hello, Marilyn. Let's see, Ch 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 Allie. Oh, I'm so glad, Allie. Let's see, let's see, Ch 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 Marilyn and Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Yeah, today's Ev's birthday too, and Tanya's birthday. Oh, nice, Ev, I love Laura's stuff. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think I have everyone for now. And Angela! Hi, Angela! Okay. All right, so announcements first. Um, so today we are doing watercolor. We're going to do this. I've got um, tube paints. I've got the palette paints. I've got some new watercolor paper. i got some new brushes. So we're just going to be playing with watercolor today, and we'll be painting uh, this jellyfish. Um, this is Lost Ocean Artist Edition. Um... No, not so much, Ev. Not so much. It's cuter. It's, it's, well, no, wait a minute. Oh, do, oh, Lara, th this has turned into something else. <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, no, Allie, I have eczema and I've got a little bit of a flare up on my hand. And so I'm saving you all from that. So, and, and I am a little chilly. Yes, the temperature is colder here. Um, but I also couldn't find a matching one and this hand doesn't really need it. So I'm being all... I'm, I'm channeling Tanya tonight. I'm channeling Tanya. Hi, Septic. Um, okay, and then tomorrow... Tammy! <laughs> um, yeah, you got me all... Nothing to derail me like that. Oh, my goodness. Um, and then tomorrow, um, if you type in exclamation point Belinda... <laughs> a little bit. Uh, if you type in exclamation point Belinda, it'll take you to Belinda's channel. And there she has up, already scheduled, the Spooktu Spooktober party for tomorrow night. Um, so, I'm going to be there. There's going to be a handful of other artists. We're all going to be doing, and there's, there's a special little challenge we're going to be doing. So, it's super fun and kind of a wrap up to Spooktober. So, that will be, uh, you just, just, just. Just pretend, pretend nothing happens, Steve. Um, that will be happening tomorrow. So set a notification for that. Um, so I will be live tomorrow, but not on my channel. I will be live on Belinda's channel. Okay. The other thing is I have already scheduled it on my channel. You can go set an alarm there. Tuesday, Steve's birthday is next week. So we are going to celebrate it on Tuesday and um, there was a vote in the Facebook group and Johanna's Christmas won. So Steve is going to be coloring Johanna's Christmas. Um, all the birthdays in November, really. Uh, Steve is gonna be coloring Johanna's Christmas using um, his uh, pencils that Evelyn got him. So um, set your notification for that as well. So Steve's birthday next week. And then I'm not sure what we'll be coloring next week because this will just be for tonight. Oh my gosh, my nose is running. Um, so anyway, lots going on. Make sure you set your notifications. All right, now, as most of you can see, today is Evelyn's birthday today. Now, hi, Megan. Um, so when it was Shannon's birthday, we had everybody get on Discord. Hi, Angie, if I missed anyone, I apologize. Um, everybody got on Discord and we sang happy birthday to Shannon. And so I was just like, all right, well, what can I do differently this time? So Ev, I have something special just for you. Okay, so here is what we're gonna do. We are going to pause this music here and then we are gonna go here and we're gonna go here. Okay, hang on, I wanna make sure the sound is up. Okay, so Ev, are you listening? Cause this one is just for you. Something, something special for you. Are you listening? I don't, I don't wanna hit play until I know you're here. We're gonna turn this up a little bit, hopefully. You'll be able to hear it. Okay. All right. So it was something that was recorded just for you. And I think you might be able to guess who recorded it. All right. Here we go. Play. Play. There we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Evelyn. Happy birthday to you. 
Did you hear it? Was it loud enough? <laughs> oh, good. Everyone heard it. Awesome. Evelyn, that was a birthday message from both of my children. So they wanted to sing you happy birthday. <laughs> They actually did that in one take. I was very impressed. The youngest was the one who added the little ooh at the end, and he thought that was hilarious. I cannot tell you how many times he's asked me to actually replay this just so he could hear it. Yeah, Allie, it was my youngest. <laughs> he, he was just like, he's like, that was me. <laughs> uh, yeah, he loved that. All right, let's get back to our regular music here. But yes, that was that was just for you, Evelyn. So happy birthday. Oh, Evelyn. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you guys. Should I play it again before we play regular music? Should I play it again real quick? I could play it again real quick. Was it loud enough? Could you guys hear it? Here, we'll play it one more time. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Evelyn. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> that, that little ooh at the end just cracks me up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sounds good, Sherry. All right, let's see. Let's put this back on. This is a little loud. We're going to turn this down. Okay. Ah, oh, music's loud now. Okay, there we go. Boom. <laughs> All right, hang on. Adjusting the music here. There we go. Ah, oh, I'm glad you like it, Ev. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Sherry. They love a good birthday celebration. When I told them it was Ev's birthday, they're like, oh. They were very excited. <laughs> Aw, Ev, I'm glad you liked it. Happy birthday. Okay, so we have a couple of things that we're gonna do tonight, all right? So one is we're gonna be painting this jellyfish. I already painted these two, and the reason I decided to do this is after I posted these jellyfish, I had some messages on Instagram saying that they really wanted to see how I painted it. So I saved the last one for when we could fit in a stream, which is for this. Sounds good, Jennifer. Um, and also, I'm gonna set this aside. Um, Boots and I have been talking a lot this week about watercolor because, um, as you know, I did a review on the tube watercolors for Arteza. Um, you can find that review um, on my main. Aw, Ev, I'm so glad. They really do, Steve, they really do. I mean, we all know that you were in a boy band, so, you know. <laughs> or sorry, a man band. Steve was in a man band. <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, so in the review, we did um, these. <laughs> Hi, Allie. I like it, Steve. Um, we did these two paints. We did the watercolor postcards and we did um, these paint brushes here. Now tonight, we're not gonna be using these. I want to use actually some new brushes that I got. Again, after conversations with Boots, I was able to find um, some good ones here. So these are syn synthetic sable. Oh my gosh, this music's loud. I need to turn it down. I can't, I find I'm talking louder when the music's too loud in my ear. Hang on, hang on. There we go, that's better. Um, anyway, so we have synthetic sable. We have four different sizes here. Um, we're all going to be testing out some of this paper here because I've always wondered, you know, what's the difference between cold press and hot press? So I got both. Come to think of it, I don't think I did the links for these ones, so I apologize. Because the links for all the Arteza stuff are in the description below. Um, the ceramic palette that I used for the tubes are also in the description below. And what else? There's another Amazon one that I put. Oh, for the paintbrushes. The paintbrushes are there. Uh, hi, Mary. Oh, Mary, you missed it. The kids sang happy birthday to Evelyn. They recorded it. Maybe I'll play it again at the uh, at the end. Yes, yes, Boots, I realized that. So um, I wanted to try both of them with the watercolors, with some nice brushes, not necessarily the water brushes. Um, I've got my little 
cup of water here. Hopefully I won't uh, drink it. <laughs> I've had the most frustrating weirdest day. I can't be the only one who's had a skunk apparently hiding and sleeping on your porch. Gotta say I have not had a skunk uh, hiding and sleeping on my porch, Loretta. <laughs> um, so I feel like there's something else. So yeah, I didn't um, put these in the links yet, but it's the Strathmore um, 5x7 cold press and um, hot press ready cut watercolor. It's actually, I saw the ready cut, but I didn't really think about it. Hi, Joanna. Uh, it's because they're loose, which I actually really like. I didn't even, didn't even think about it. You need two water cups, only one to clean your brushes and one to get the clean water from. Oh, that's right. You did say that. Okay. I'm going to go grab another cup of water here real quick. Hang on. Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> yeah, we had one by our house growing up and he would spray the house and the whole house would stink and I'd have to go to school smelling like skunk because he had sprayed the whole house. I mean, what else are you going to do, you know? All right. Hang tight. One second. I'm going to grab um, another cup of water here real quick. All right, two cups of water. Ta -da! If you're wondering what that is down there, it's because I just had my pencils in there and there's a bunch of dust down there at the bottom. But anyway, two cups, two cups, two cups, two cups. Cut to fit a frame, yeah. Yeah, well, because sometimes you'll get them and you like peel them off and they're loose. Okay, so um let's see what do we want to start with tonight we've got tubes we've got um palettes let's do we want to play with the paints first or do we want to paint the jellyfish first you guys you guys tell me because honestly i'm fine with either i am fine with either we're going to do both before we before we go i don't think that the jellyfish will take up the whole time but it is up to all of you what would you like to do Sounds good, Loretta. Jellyfish? Okay, I have one jellyfish. <laughs> jellyfish? What colors are the single pigment? Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head. But there were 12 of them. We've got like orange, red. They're pretty much like one of every color except for the green. There was no single pigment green, which I thought was interesting especially when there are single pigment oranges, which to me doesn't seem like it should be single pigment because red and yellow make orange. So I find that very interesting. Jellyfish, okay, cool, jellyfish it is. And then we will play with the watercolors at the end. Um, so for the jellyfish, I could test out the tubes on this, but I've been using the palette watercolors um, this whole time, and so I'm gonna stick with that. Um, the only difference will be I used the water brushes for these two jellyfish. We're gonna use the paint brushes for this one. Okay, so we have two palettes here. We have, ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Um, these are the metallic watercolors. They come with the um, swatch charts in them, which is really cool. It was actually really interesting. I was watching some old reviews of these and the reviewers were saying, oh boy, it'd be nice if they had some watercolor paper, you could swatch. And so they changed it, which is nice. Arteza listens, you know? Okay, so here's the metallic ones, which we'll use a little bit of this on top once we painted most of it. So we're not gonna use this right away. Really, how interesting. Why is that, Boots? And then we're gonna have this one here. This is the 36 count. And again, all the links for these are in the description below. So there are these ones here, okay? As you can see, my palette is uh, a little, a little well-loved, that's for sure. All right, let's see, where do I wanna put this here? I tell you, one day when I get a office office of my own, I will be investing in a larger desk. <laughs> Here, and I can turn this camera so that you can see the palette. You can see it's next to my keyboard there. Nothing like fitting all your streaming stuff and all your art stuff all in one space. <laughs> Do well in electric sharpeners? I would not, I would not, Sherry. Just because Lumis are soft um, and they're expensive, and I would be worried that the electric sharpener would eat up more than I would like. Okay. 
my tea tonight not coffee although i have had two cups of coffee today but my other cup of coffee was like oh four o'clock this afternoon all right here we go too bright bright enough let's see make sure we're in focus here because we are gonna start with the top here yeah that looks good okay so it's been a long time since i've used brushes these are princeton brushes like i said they're synthetic sable so we have a, a flat brush a three-quarter inch flat brush which i think is really nice it's got the cool kind of clear um actually boots you know might you might know the answer to this why is there any particular reason why one like some of these are you know red painted and this one is a clear brush is it just because of the fanciness of it because it also has a chiseled end to it so is there um maybe this could be a palette knife Maybe that would be like part palette knife. Oh, awesome, Ev. I mean, it makes sense. Hi, Jody. I bet you that's a palette knife, like supposed to be a palette knife. You know, mix it. Anyway. Okay, so this is a three quarter inch one. Like I said, these are Princeton brand. The link for these are in the description below, or you can palette knife. Yep, what April said. Wash the brushes in the sink. They come with gum Arabic for them to keep their shape. Can I just rinse them in the water cup boots? Um, and then this one is a number 10 round, number 10 round, the slightly bigger one. And then this one is a little bit longer. This is a number three round. And then this is, um, a three slash zero round. Anyway, it's the teeny tiny one, which is actually, we'll probably use this a fair amount. Create textures in the paper after you have paint. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. So... I've got a, we're going to zoom out for just a second. We've got our blue and our kind of pinky purple. So I was thinking that I would do this one in like oranges and yellows for a minute or so. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to leave you guys for a minute. I think it'll be okay. I'll just rinse it for now and it should be fine. I don't think it will affect it too much. I'm not going to leave you guys for a full minute to wash them. <laughs> no, it'll be okay. We'll just kind of it on the bottom will be good okay so we are gonna actually you know i think we're gonna start with the medium one first because we're gonna do this area here i'll zoom in here in just a second there we go yeah i don't think it'll affect it too much okay 10 round or larger a good brush can get a good point and carry a lot of pigment yeah that's what i'm thinking that's what we're gonna start with Okay. All right, there we go. No, wash them. <laughs> Bit like Lodzi's microwave. Yeah, it was. Well, and I kind of um, brushed it out a little bit when I first got them. Okay, so this one does have a good point on it, but I think for these teeny tiny ones, we're gonna start with the three, just for my sake of my comfort. It's what I'm used to. So let's see, we are gonna start with, what do I wanna start with? How bright do I wanna go? Um, we're gonna start with saffron orange, I think, which is A118 and going from the yellow side, it's one, two, three, four, five. So I'm counting on here because this is how they were done. So starting from, whoop, there we go, sorry, now you can see. Starting from the yellow side, because obviously each of these bricks aren't labeled. Oh, thanks, Septic. Yeah, we, I switched to lavender. I switched to lavender. I love the ILNP uh, nail polish. They have so much like glitter and holographic. They'll go straight from paint to the paper. You want the color on, the, on your palette first. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, definitely. Yeah, I'll thin it out on here. Okay, so we're gonna do saffron orange first. So that's six in one, two, three, four, five, six here. Okay. It's pretty bright. I think we'll add, actually, I think I wanna add a little bit of deep red to this. Okay, so that's A266. Mm, you know what I can do? There you go. While I'm mixing, you guys can get a little bit better view. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Tone it down just a little bit. Oh, 
we're gonna let's see do I want to make more of it yeah I'm gonna make more of it so we're gonna grab this one is what it was there we go that's more that's what we want up a little bit more of this one I'm quiet it's just because I'm concentrating on what I make sure I get what I want here let's see <laughs> share you Steve well just like with layering boots with my pencils I tend to go a little bit lighter to begin with but I want to plan out what so I'm gonna do this and we're gonna go to lighter so we're probably gonna use a real error how does how is that pronounced Aurelin, Aurelin, A U R E O L I N, Orlin, Orlin, Orlin sounds no Orlin yellow, so A109 is what we're going to move to. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and switch over. Okay. So if I'm not looking up a chat as much this evening, it is because I want to work fairly quickly with this. Oof. I've been used to the uh, water brush lately. I think I need to move my, I need to get these out of the way. And I need to move my paper towel closer. So. See, am I in frame? I'm covering it. I'm sorry. Ariolan. Ariolan. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. It's been a while since I've watercolored on stream. So I'm just bringing up some of the uh, liquid here. So the artist edition paper is pretty good at holding a fair amount of liquid. I don't have too much beading, but also I try to, you know, keep in mind how much liquid I am putting on there. Okay, grab a little bit more here. There we go. Do you guys use pencil over watercolor? Um, generally when I'm doing watercolor, I just do watercolor. I don't always mix it but I don't see why you couldn't I mean obviously it would need to be completely dry you could use it as a base like you would a uh, Copics having to retrain myself on an actual brush here like I said I'm so used to they do hold a fair amount of water I'm impressed. Kind of smoothing this out here. I mean, you guys know me. I love a good pastel look, so it's no surprise that I try and thin this out a fair amount. I'll probably add a little bit more color, though. And because it's still wet, it's kind of flowing at the same time. And if I miss your thing, I apologize. I want to go ahead and start adding a little bit of yellow on that side. So we've got the third one in here. Yeah, it's been a real long time since I've used a brush. Uh, let's see. Probably, Boots. Probably. Yeah, it's a cardstock. It's a cardstock, Joanna. Oh yeah, for sure, Boots. I will. But I think we're good for now. I, 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 by, I by no means consider myself like a professional watercolorist. Like, as I, you know, don't necessarily consider myself professional colorist in the sense that like there are those that are way better at it than me oh my gosh i feel like i want to switch back to the water brush just because it's what i'm comfortable with 
Boots, you're probably cringing right now. Be patient with me. We'll get there in the end. Promise. There we go. I mean, you see, I did it on these ones. <laughs> I know, Boots, I know. We'll be okay. We'll get there in the end. Thanks, Rosalyn. There's the process, yes, but I think a lot of it, um, you know, how it turns out in the end, as long as you're getting the result that you want, which I think, I think we're going to get this wet again real quick. See if we can thin that out just a bit. I don't know, when I was in college, you know, professors have their certain way of doing things, but I think that's probably one of the reasons I didn't like college. I'm going to go with a little bit brighter yellow. We'll see if we can get it to look the same. So let's grab our cadmium light yellow here lemon yellow i think is going to be a little chilly there we go yeah that's a little bit brighter and i think i lessened the other stuff enough that we can go back over it And then we're going to add some more orange back over the top. There we go. All right, let's grab some of this orange real quick. There we go. That's a bit more of what I wanted it to look like. Yeah, I'm much happier with that. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna take that yellow again. There we go, that's better. And we might switch to the water brush. The water brush that I used for the other ones was actually this one here. Joanna, thank you. This one came from Arteezy. We also have the red ones. If we switch the red ones, it'll probably be that. Thank you so much. Can we get some hypes in chat for Joanna? Exclamation point. Hype, or you can use those handy emotes. Oh, Angela and Angie are on it. They're on it. And as soon as I think it catches up with me. <laughs> there we go perfect thank you so much Angela I appreciate that okay. might let this area dry a little bit before I add more on it but yeah I'm pleased with that and I think once it dries we're gonna go over and add some contrasting colors up here near the top so we're gonna grab some more of this yellow Learn to do emotes. <laughs> You're cute, Joanna. There we go. We're just going to get this bright yellow in here. Okay. All right. Then we're going to grab this one. <laughs> Michelle. Uh, Ev, you don't need to apologize for anything. You are fine. You blew me away with those Pablos. Ev, you never have to do anything. You're amazing. 
You are amazing and wonderful, and you never, never need to apologize for anything, especially on your birthday, Evelyn. On your birthday. Rosalind, thank you. Oh, nice, Joanna. Exactly, Angelie. Rosalind, thank you. Can we get some hypes in chat for Joanna? So sweet. Thank you. Aw. That was so sweet. All right, we're going to thin this out a little bit. See, I was trying to kind of do this with the tube paints, but it definitely was not uh, working that way. But I'm liking how this is turning out. There we go. We're going to add add more of that orange here. There we go. All right, let's get some of that yellow down. Thank you, Sherry. Yes, today is Ev's birthday. We're going to play the kids singing happy birthday to her again before we go today. But we got loads of time here. We're going to be on for a while still. A while, a while. Go. Okay, now we're going to use that orange. I'm going to turn this just a little bit. Oh, most definitely, Boots. Most definitely. Okay. Get this darker orange right up here near the top. I do like these brushes though, they're nice. I needed to get some new brushes. My other ones are pretty raggedy. They were so raggedy, I don't think Raggedy Ann would have used them. But it's... I'm hilarious. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add a little bit of more of that orange over here. Thanks, Joanna. A little bit there. This area got pretty wet when we were kind of figuring it out there for a sec, but that's good now. Might add a little bit more yellow there. I think we'll leave that alone for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna bust out my... Oof, I don't have a heat gun, but I do have a handy little battery-powered fan. And I'm just gonna pop that on low for just a second. Okay. Here, let's zoom on out here for a sec. There we go. We're gonna be adding some more definition with a little bit more defining color here. I'm thinking probably a purple or a blue. Yep, exactly. Aw, Grace, tell her I said happy birthday. Most of the world uses pan paint more often than tube paint. Yeah, and then that's fair. That's fair. I, I I think the ease of it, you know, they're they're all, you know, condensed into a space, so I get that. Okay. That's pretty good. Alright, we're gonna let that be for just a second. We're gonna come back to that, okay? So now we're gonna jump up and we are gonna work a little bit on this area here. Where should we do these? Now we're gonna do the top part first before we decide what to do for the tentacles. Do you have a Tuesday morning shop in Texas? I don't think so. Yes, it's also Tanya's birthday. Tanya, if you're lurking, happy birthday. Um, what's a Tuesday morning shop, Angela? Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to redo this kind of area here, but this was more of what I was going for. Okay. Let's see, I should tilt this this way. That way you can kind of see my water over here, too. Move that there. Boom. There we go. Aha! Now you get the other view. Does that work? Yes, that works. Look at my lovely dirty water. <laughs> Hi, Brian! It's an overstock outlet. Interesting. No, I'm not familiar with it. 
Okay, um, so my instinct would be to do blue, but since we're sticking with kind of a yellowish sort of dude here, we're going to grab Persian red. Okay, and that's down here. That is the fourth one in. Persian red is actually pretty similar to the orange that we mixed up. So that works out well. I think we're going to do Persian red and sunburst yellow. Yeah, that's actually... I inadvertently mixed up a color very similar to that. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that, Boots. <laughs> really, Steve? Gosh, clearly Steve knows more about uh more about it than I do. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going a bit slower this time. I think it's different because the um, water brushes don't hold as much water. I'm just pulling some of this water out. Uh, so yeah, they work a little bit differently. All right, we're gonna grab the sunburst yellow. Okay. Right there. Blend that through. That's not bad. I like that. Yeah, see, it looks really similar to that. I don't know. I like these boots. I think they just take some getting used to. I literally haven't used these yet. Like these are brand new brushes to me. I meant to play with them a little bit earlier today, but I just didn't have time. I mean, just like with anything, when you're getting to know new pencils, you know, the very first time you use them, you don't necessarily, you know, are down with all the tricks to them right away. It takes a little bit to find your way around them and kind of get used to them, you know? Like I said, if I were in school or something, I'd probably have a professor going, what on earth are you doing? And I'd be like, eh, it works. <laughs> there we go. Little, little blend there. Um, I don't know what series they are, but yeah, they're, they're Princeton. We had a Tuesday morning where I live in this. What is, so you said it's a what kind of store? I'm gonna scroll back up, see what it was. Tuesday mornings. Oh, Angie, saw your comment about the light. Thank you. Oh, 10 bucks. Nice. Okay. Overstock outlet. Ah, okay, okay. Do they, is it one specific like brand or is it just like overstock in general? See, I don't just throw pencils. Overstock store, okay. But I mean, do they have like everything? Like what kind of genre of stuff is it? Is it like Amazon where basically you can find anything except it's in person? Or is it like art supplies? Is it is it tools? Is it furniture? Um. Or is it just in general? I know this one's a little bit darker than those other ones, but we can balance it out once the other side dries a little bit. I don't want to muddy it up too much.
Oh. It's a bit of everything. Oh, that's cool. No throwing of brushes. I know. Birthday trip to Dollar Tree Tuesday morning. Oh, no. And November is popular for birthdays. Okay, let's see. Is that... Yeah, I want to add a little bit more to this now. That's had a little bit of time to dry. Right there. The nice thing about watercolor, though, it really doesn't take much paint to get the look that you want. You know what I mean? All right, we're going to also add a little bit more to this side, too, but we're going to undo this last one and give it a chance to dry. Thanks, Mary. A step up from Big Lots. Oh, okay. Steve, how long ago was that that we had one? Okay, add a little bit there. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit more to those other two. Sounds good, Patty. Thanks, Rosalind. Aw, you're all sweet. All right, add a little bit more of that here. This a little bit darker. And this one. And a little bit here. Yeah, pretty pleased with that. Like I said, I just like I go with my pencils, I tend to go, you know, pretty slow when I'm doing my watercolor as I'm adding it, you know? Oh, okay, that's cool. That's a shame that it closed. I like me a good bargain. We're just going to add... Oh, I used that brown there. No, this is what we mixed for that. I'm choosing the wrong color. Oh. So I'm kind of doing streaks down to sort of follow the folds of the jellyfish here. Rinse this. I'm gonna thin it out a little bit. Go. And then let's grab. I actually want to grab this lemon yellow because I kind of want to brighten this up just a bit okay I think we started out with a different yellow over here there all right we're gonna let that part dry just a little bit uh <laughs> thanks Allie watercolor setup too it's just some pots of water brush and pay it does it cleans up super fast Okay, so now we are going to, while we wait for these to dry, oops, I want to make sure that we're not too close here. Yeah, we're okay. Uh, big lots. <laughs> Grace. <laughs> Thanks, Sethi. All right. Um... Here's what we are going to do. I want to get some different colors on here. Let's grab 
We're going to bring a little bit of like actual red into this too. Cadmium red's pretty darn red. Um, what do we got? We got saffron orange. Let's see. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's this one here. Now it's so red, we're going to have to be careful with it. We don't want to overwhelm it. Hey, coffee stat. <laughs> I had two cups of coffee today. Not too shabby, I think. All right. So here is what we're going to do. We're going to get just the teeniest, tiniest little bit to start off with. Okay. We're going to start on our left side here. But these are all like kind of overlapped. So the darkest part is going to be here. A little bit more red. Okay. And we're going to get it wet. We're going to soften that edge a little bit. Just like we do with any of our gradients and pencils. I definitely utilize a lot of the same things that I do for pencils when it comes to the watercolors. We're going to do the reds all the way across and then we'll go back and add our yellows. Yeah, Angela, I mean, nobody really goes to the mall anymore, so which is, yeah, I think it's just, and, and truth be told, malls were kind of, I mean, because our JCPenney is in a mall, malls were kind of on their way out as it was, so I'm sure this didn't help. Oh, thanks, Grace. Take my time. I don't know how long those other two jellyfish took me. I was watching TV when I did them. But the idea behind this is that I'm putting down the red and then I'm softening the edges. So when it's completely dry, we're going to go back in with the really bright lemon yellow. But because I faded the edge, it'll still look like a gradient, but I'll still have the nice bright red. Because if I were to mix the yellow now while it's um, while it's kind of wet, it'll end up more orangey. But I want it to be a clear, you know, this is where the red starts. This is, you know, where the yellow starts kind of kind of thing, you know. So if I let it dry, if I create that blend first and let it dry, then I can go back in with the red and still get that gradient effect, but still have very uh, bright colors. That's why I love a tiny, a tiny paintbrush. Now, as far as doing this in the Lost Ocean book, I can't say for sure. Um, just because of the paper, I don't really recall. But as long as you use a small amount of water, I think you'll be okay. Oh. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna lower that so I can see. Oh, Riggs is watching me. Yay. Hi, Riggs. Hi, Riggsy. Hi, Puppy. <laughs> Come on, Riggsy. Watch the painting. You can do it, Riggsy. <laughs> and I'm talking to the dog. <laughs> there go. I'm adding just a little bit of red up there. I'll smooth it out here in just a sec. I keep whacking the paintbrush on the uh, tripod. It's a good thing I'm not using pencils. Probably would have shattered the core like five times by now. Yeah, um... I, when the kids were babies, uh, I had joined this exercise group for moms. And when it was raining here, because I mean, when it rains, it pours. That's where we would go exercise is we'd go to the mall and there were always the mall walkers and everything like that. So the way that I'm putting the colors in, you can still do this with, um, oh look at that, I went over a little bit. 
Um, you can still do this kind of, it can be adapted for pencils as well. For sure. I brought that red down a little bit further than I would have liked. Let's see if we can thin that out just a bit. Eh, it's alright. That yellow will pop through. That's good enough. <laughs> hey George, hi V, hi boobies. <laughs> oh, awesome, Tanya. Everybody say happy birthday to Tanya too. Happy birthday, Tanya. We got the kids some donuts for uh for one of the treats for Halloween tomorrow. Our youngest has been wanting donuts. All right, smooth that out a little bit. Okay, um, I don't wanna add the wa the red on here because this is still a little bit damp. So we're gonna dry this because I don't wanna accidentally have it be still be wet and to trail liquid down where I don't want it. So when in doubt, dry it out. I actually didn't plan that saying out. It just happened to sound that good. Oh, it's blowing the paper towel away. <laughs> there we go, put the water cup there. As long as I don't drink my paint water. Mmm. Oh, I forgot. You know what I have on here? Here we go. Wait for it. Maybe? Oh, no. I must have moved. I had a little birthday birthday cake thingy, but I can't find it now. <laughs> but happy birthday! Oh, I remember what other announcements I was going to do. Um new uh new coloring page in the etsy store um it's my clay and bamboo teapot um i have been coloring it, but i decided to post it because i just haven't had the time to finish it yet so new coloring page in the etsy store also i'm doing one last sale for spooktober and in my etsy store um all fall pages are 40 percent off right now um so yeah that's there there you go, Nightbot. Good timing. Um, but yeah, there's uh, sales going on. Members get the teapot page for 50% off. So if you're a member, remember to use that coupon. Should be in the members only post. Okay, that is dry. Awesome, Mary. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I don't know where mine is right now. I think I might have put it. What, did I put it in this folder? Maybe. I have mine somewhere. I just have not had time to finish. I have the Pablo set aside that I've been using for it, though. That actually really bothers me. Where did I put it? Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Hang on. Oh, no, wait. That was a printout of it. Never mind. Yeah, I'm not sure where I put mine. <laughs> oh, okay. Rest up, boots. Rest up. Okay. So now we're going to head and do our red again. Normally I'd be like skipping around, but we're only, um, oh, I have no doubt that you will, Mary. Normally I jump around, but since we're only coloring one jellyfish tonight, I think we'll be able to get this done, um, easily. But yeah, so one last big sale and, uh, new coloring page. Like that, and smooth that out. Yeah, because if you're coloring two, or if you're painting two places together and you don't want them to mix, the big thing is to make sure that the previous spot is um, is dry before you add more water to the spots around it. I knew I had more announcements. I just got so excited to, to play Ev her recording. <laughs> All right. Put that down there. 
Okay, so how much are you all going to judge me if I admit that lately I've been watching The Vampire Diaries again? I'll be perfectly honest. I don't think I've ever actually finished the entire series. Like, I'll get through, like, up to season four, and I'll get, like, burnt out on it, and so I'll stop watching it. So what I did this time is I started it at season four, because I know what happens previously, because I've seen the first couple seasons, you know, a few times. So this time I started it at season four, so now things are actually starting to uh, to get good. So, yeah, I've been watching Vampire Diaries again. I'm classy like that. What's the Vampire Diaries? Just a bunch of dramatic ridiculousness, Allie. Don't get sucked in. I'm warning you now. <laughs> like now I need to know what happens. But I don't actually know how the series ends. So I'm hoping I can get there. Nice, Angela. <laughs> All right, blend this. Okay. There we go. All right. We're going to get the little fan here. Just give that a quick dry. Thankfully, since I'm not using much water, it really doesn't take long for it to dry. You can see I've got the fan parked right here. There we go. Thanks, Shell pretty dry I think we're gonna add a little bit to this here before while we let the rest of this dry all right so let's pop this off here all right zoom on back in here right about there wrong way there we go okay so now I want to use I mean we've got orange and yellow here complementary of orange is blue complementary of yellow is purple um, I don't really want to use straight up blue or purple. I'm thinking indigo is going to work. Hi, Kelly. Hello. So this one here is indigo. Um, like I said, we could use purple. This is just bright purple, way too bright for what I'm trying to do. I want something that's more subtle. So in general, since it's orange and yellow, I want to use a cool color. So we're going to go for indigo. How are you doing, Kelly? All right, so indigo is the third one over from the darker green, so it's gonna be this one here. Oop. This one right here. There we go. All right, so we're gonna put this right here. Oh, look at that, that's a lot of pigment. We wanna go real light with this. Okay. So we're gonna pop this over here. Like I said, I go pretty slowly, especially when I'm putting dark on light. Okay, so I have thinned this out. I'm actually gonna move this here so you can see. I've thinned this out quite a bit. I have just a tiny bit here. I'll add more if I need to, but we're not using much. When you're adding such a dark color on top of such a light color, uh, you wanna make sure you go slowly. Okay. And that way you can kind of gauge how much darker you want it to be. There we go. I don't want to add so much water that I'm completely thinning it out, you know what I mean? So, drag some of that on up high here. There we go. I like that. All right. And we're going to go ahead and grab a little bit more. Okay. Nice and slow here. Oh, thanks, Shell. Yeah. 
I end up getting in the zone with the watercolors. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So a little bit on the corner. It always looks a little bit different when you're so close to it, but there we go. That's a bit better. I still feel like I want to add a bit more orange to that section that I kind of washed out. Heck yeah, you better believe it, Allie. <laughs> Would it be me if I didn't? No, that's better. We're going to take a little bit of that here. There. Okay. Thin it out just a smidge. There we go. I'm pleased with that. Okay, this top part should be pretty dry. So now we are going to grab our lemon yellow. Go. Slide that over. Lemon yellow. Okay, bring it on over here. Nice and bright. I want to get plenty of that over here. I don't think it's grabbing. My, my palette is stained, so I'm not really mixing any of this other stuff here. But it's definitely... I think I had a little bit of green on there, and that left a little bit of a green hue. I don't like that. So here's what we're going to do. Because I don't want that to be green. Not by any means. We're going to grab the little uh, ceramic palette here. And we are going to grab some of this yellow. There we go. All right, let's flip on over here. You can see what I'm doing here. All right, so yeah, I, I thought I had washed it good enough because I thought the rest was stained, but we got a little bit of green mixed in that, and I don't want green. I want yellow. Okay. All right, I'm going to shift this just a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and add this yellow to... <laughs> Allie, you're so funny. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add that yellow here. Okay. I'm not uh, trying to touch the red too much because it will re-wet the red and we'll get that kind of orangey in there. So I want to get down this bright yellow first. Now it did pick that up a little bit. It did go over onto that red a little bit, but I think if we leave it alone, it'll be okay. We can zoom in a little bit more here. Thanks, Michelle. Honestly, my instinct is a lot of blues and stuff, but I already did that. So I was just like, we need to do something a bit different for this one. So red and oranges and yellows it is. that in so you guys can see that a little bit better maybe. There we go. So I'm more dabbing this than I am brushing it because I don't want to activate too much of that red. Michelle, that one, that one doesn't look very yellow, does it? There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, let's see, with these down here, now that these have had a chance to dry, I want to add a 
let's see let's grab some of that saffron orange which is kind of what we used to mix before but we're gonna use this nice bright color okay who am i kidding i need to be mixing it on here uh what's this one here we're gonna mix it Zoom out here so you can kind of see what I'm mixing. It's hard when there's such a small space, you know? Okay. Alright, a little bit of that. More of that orange. Thank you. Right, that is awfully bright. We're gonna tone that down just a bit. There we go. Thanks. Like tiny peaches. There you go. nice thing is is if you find that your colors are a bit dull or a bit muddied once they dry you can kind of go back over on it and fix that or maybe you thin them out too much or whatever but it's nice to be able to kind of go back over on it okay thank you ask me all right so now let's go ahead and do we're gonna do a kind of a yellow dome on the top here okay so we're gonna start with we're gonna start with yellow ochre i think okay which is the third one in here i think we can mix this one on the palette here okay Don't want a ton. Move this out of the way over here. Okay. Let's see. Am I gonna be able to turn that and keep that in frame? Yes, I am. Oops. Close my paints. All right. Let's zoom in a bit here, shall we? Okay. So we're using the yellow ochre. Okay. of a darker yellow bear with me here it'll all make sense in a minute okay softening that edge just a bit The paints as pants. That would make it a very different kind of stream. <laughs> Just kind of smoothen that edge. Okay. We need to let this dry for a minute. So, let's see. How are we... We're going to pop the fan on real quick. Hi, Cheryl! Okay. I'm just going to... Let this dry for just a second. Take a sip of my tea here. Take a look at chat. Hmm. Look at that. That is that is some cold tea right there. Guess that's what happens when you start blowing a fan on all your liquids. <laughs> okay, how's that do? Good, I think. Okay. All right. So now. We're gonna grab some of that nice bright yellow that we mixed earlier. I don't know if you can see it there. All right, Mara, see right? Yeah. <laughs> grab some of that here. Okay.
idea is we're going to be making a bit of a kind of a glowy dome here. Yeah, a little bit. I didn't even think about that, Joanna. I'm gonna grab a bit more of that yellow. Okay. Now, we're not done with this dome, but I wanna let that paint dry before I do anything else to it. Yeah, and if I missed anyone, I apologize. I just, I start concentrating. <laughs> All right. So now we are going to do some of this bottom part here. And I want to grab amaranth, which is the third one in. Fourth one in, not third one. That is a nice bright color right there. Now we're going to go ahead and very carefully add this here. Okay. Moving that edge. Smooth in the edge sets you up for your blend. Oh, you know what also I forgot to mention? Um, I put it in the description below, but I know I have my 10% off coupon code for the watercolors. Um, but also, um, and feel free to use my links to navigate to where you want to go, but Arteza is having a site-wide 20% um, 20 off sale right now. Um, for It's like a Halloween mystery special. Anyway, um, if you're looking at some Arteza stuff, can't remember i want to say it's like spook something is the is the code but anyway um if you click on the links it'll take you there i've got the info in the description below and that lasts just for this weekend actually um so if you have been looking for some arteza discounts now's the time but if you miss this weekend my 10 percent off coupon code will be good all the way through the um November 30th, I believe. Are your brushes Arteza? I think I missed that part. The brushes I'm using are Princeton. The links for them are in the Amazon links in the description below, or you can, I think it's exclamation point brushes. Um, Arteza just has water brushes out right now, which would actually probably work better for what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, links are all in the uh, description below. These ones I got from Amazon. The only things that aren't Arteza that I'm using tonight is the ceramic palette and these brushes and obviously the book. Everything else is Arteza. I'm going to let that dry a little bit because these outlines here are also going to be done with that same kind of red. So I'm going to grab the fan for a sec. I should probably just get myself a heat gun one of these days. Probably make it easier. Let that dry. Yeah, 
Oh no, Michelle. We're gonna let that be. Thankfully, since I'm not using much water, it really doesn't take long for it to dry. Okay, we're gonna use that same, what was it, amaranth? Here, okay. Some there. I'm gonna put some here. 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 I'm not doing it at every junction because I think it would get too close. So I'm doing it like every other little junction here. I want to leave kind of a highlight spot because we are going to be adding some of that highlighted yellow like we did on the other ones. Let's see. <laughs> Cherry's afraid of her own shadow. Poor Cherry. What kind of dog is Cherry? I think we've talked about this before. Maybe we have. Um, okay. I want to grab... What do I want next? Let's see. I actually want to look at the metallic stuff real quick before I make my decision about what I put on top of that. Um, let's see. We might save it for the metallic. I think we're actually going to use Glowing Peach over the top of this yellow dome. Cocker Spaniel, that's what she is. Ooh, I love Cocker Spaniels. My cousin had a Cocker Spaniel for a while. Okay, um, let's see, is that dry? Not quite dry enough yet. Um, let's see. So I wanna take this one again. We're still using that amaranth. Okay. And what we're gonna do with our very fine tip, we are going to put a little bit of this amaranth along the top. It's not gonna be perfect, but you'll get the idea. Bit of a fiddly part here. Oh my gosh, pretty sure I'm going cross-eyed trying to do that one little bit. <laughs> Again, I apologize if I'm missing anything. Watercolors are just a bit different than pencils in the sense that I can't neglect what I've put down for too long. So I will look up a chat here in just a moment. Wink. There we go. Woo! Teeny tiny. <laughs> Thanks, Sally. <laughs> uh Let's see. I don't know if those coloring glove things come bigger size. The one I have is a bit small and my right hand swells. Oh no. You could try something like this, Sherry. I mean, this isn't necessarily a coloring glove, but it kind of works like that. I mean, your knuckle isn't covered, but truth be told, I have this sort of, I think I got these on Amazon, but they're just fingerless gloves. Um. They fold up, so they do cover more, but it I lose a bit of range of motion in my pinky, which is why I tuck this part in. Gives it a little bit better, but then, you know. Actually, does anybody else have a callus on their pinky? Because I totally do. Also, colored pencil callus. Okay, here's a fun thing. Fun fact. All right, look at the inner knuckle of my middle finger here. Look at it. I've got a colored pencil callus. Look at this. In comparison, look at that. Look at this hulked up knuckle right here. I have a friggin' colored pencil callus. And then on my pinky here, let's see if I can get it in focus. I have a pinky knuckle callus. <laughs> oh no. You have it too? Awesome! I'm glad I'm not the only one. Guess what's what happened when you do nothing but color for like five straight years? 
<laughs> serve it in a silver dish yeah it's it's the knuckle here and uh the callus here it just it's the weirdest thing you know what's funny is i had it for a little while when i was in college aspie and then i kind of lost it and then when i started back up again yeah it came back it's just hilarious <laughs> colors till she calluses people it's, it's facts facts all right Okay, this middle one's still wet. These are good to go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab that lemon yellow. Okay. Is that lemon yellow grabbed? Oh, you know what? I think it's my water. Oh. Yeah, that was my water. We're using that lemon yellow now. <laughs> Seriously, Joanna. Belinda! Hi, Belinda! How are you? I'm excited for tomorrow. So for those of you who missed it, tomorrow is the Spooktober party wrap up for the month. So make sure you go and set your notifications for Belinda's channel. Um, folks, I'm going to go empty this cup and um, get fresh water. One second. Hold up. Kitty, have you been in here? I didn't even realize you were in here. Are you thinking it's snack time? It is snack time. Would you like some snacks? Hang on, chat. Chat demands food. All right, here you go. Here you go, happy kitty. <laughs> Normally she gets up and is all in my face while I'm doing this, but kitty needed a snack. I honestly didn't even realize she was still in here. She's been snoozing away. Okay. All right, where were we? Lemon yellow. Okay, you know, I'm gonna lighten this camera a little bit. It is a little dark. Yeah, that's better. Oh, the other cats can hear that she got a snack. They're not happy. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. In the house, very quick question. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, uh, all right. So lemon yellow here. Put that bunny on it. And here. So tomorrow, Halloween um we are going to do a candy scavenger hunt we have matching pumpkin shirts to wear candy scavenger hunt we're gonna make some halloweeny kind of food um have some crafts we're gonna carve pumpkins so it should be good tomorrow she got hers already okay. hey, no, 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 no. oh the other cat's trying to snag her food uh, he is Ev, but usually they're all out there, and she's not usually in here while I stream because she's usually all up in my business. Um, but she slept this entire time and then hopped down, and since I was already up getting water, I figured I might as well go ahead and give her her snack. <laughs> okay. So now what we're going to do is... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this here with the amaranth. And even if we hit 10.30 and we're still doing this, we are staying live tonight until, um, we'll just do that for right there, um, until we're A, done with the jellyfish, and B, get a chance to test out that, um, hot and cold press watercolor paper. So, when I'm not just gonna stop just because it's 10.30. I mean, if there was somebody after me, that'd be one thing, but I had my second cup of coffee today. 
<laughs> bye, Chad. He said bye. Oh wait, who likes to watercolor? I missed it. Uh Oh, I'm holding it too close to the brush. When you're gripping the actual bristles of the brush, you're holding your paintbrush too low. <laughs> One way to hold it. Oh, my cat, yes. <laughs> well, it's funny. Normally she's like triggered by all the talking that I do, like she's annoyed, but she just slept right through it. Had the younger cat, Annie, going nuts today because I did a bunch of reorganizing yesterday and I ended up finding um, the laser pointers. And she's like, oh my god, <laughs> it's a little red light. Gripping the actual bristles. I know, I'm holding it like, like literally, I realized I was holding it like this. Mm. Yeah, I was just like, oops. <laughs> there we go. Just gripping the life out of it. I'm just, I'm literally threatening my paintbrush to do what it is I want it to do. Like, just, you, you, you better blend these colors or I'm going to lose it, you paintbrush. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's so funny. Annie's in uh, the other room eating her food and she would literally sit there and meow because she doesn't want to be alone while she eats her food. It's hilarious. Okay, we definitely need to let that red dry. Okay. So we're gonna move back up to the top up here. We're gonna do this little spot here, okay? All right, so let's see. Yes, 8 p.m., 8 p.m. So I want to do a nice kind of darker color here, I think. Let's grab, grab rust red, which is the fifth color in one, two, three, four, five, this one here. Doesn't look like I'd use this color much. But granted, I tend to go for blues and stuff rather than I go for browns, so that's not surprising to me. I want to get all the water out of there. All right. I also talk to myself a lot when I do this. Hi, Pamela. All right. Um, I'm going to turn this back around here. Yoink. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to make sure I don't run my hand on that red. So I pardon me if I'm covering it up. I'm not trying to. All right. We're going to use that rust. Oh, nope. We need more water for that. More water than I had. All right, try that again. Oh, that's too much water now. Fine line between too much water and not enough. I think I just need less water, more pigment. Because if I get that water over into the yellow, which I kind of did with the first two triangles, then that's when it starts to bleed over and I don't want to do that. Here we go. Oh, we agree. Yeah, so we're gonna do like you know, like uh, pigs in a blanket. I'm gonna do that, but like wrap them, wrap the little the little smokies like little mummies, and we're gonna have like mummy pizza where I make like mini pizzas, and the dough will be or yeah, the dough will be kind of draped over it like a mummy. Found this thing for like these spider crackers, <laughs> where you take like Ritz crackers. And you put um, cream cheese in the middle and then put like little pretzel sticks um, like sticking out of it for the legs. See, if I do this now, it's taking away too much of the pigment. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these little brown points dry because I want to keep that vibrancy of the dark brown. And then I will thin out the edges af 
it ages edges after it dries. Ooh, toffee caramel. Nice. I'm telling you, ever since I tried that oat milk creamer, I am just in love. I don't know if it's the way it tastes or what, but it's friggin' delicious and I love it. And it just makes me want to drink coffee all the time. Sounds good, Belinda. I did. Should we play it again real quick while this dries so everyone can hear it? We can play it again real quick. Here, let's pause. Oh, no, we're going to be septic. Let's pause this music here. And let's go here. Wait, Belinda, do you want to hear the kids? They sang happy birthday to Evelyn. Okay, hang on. Let me make sure this is turned up. Yoink. There we go. All right, here we go. This is Evelyn's birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Oh, turn it up. Happy Hold up. That was too, too quiet. Hang on. Hang on. Yoink. There we go. All right, here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Evelyn. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> that ooh at the end just gets me every time. Seriously, they absolutely loved it. So much fun. Right? Oh my gosh, they loved it. They were so excited when I asked them, like, you want to sing birthday song for Evelyn? They're like, yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, Allie, that's my son. <laughs> he threw in the ooh at the end. <laughs> and then he wanted to hear it over and over because he loved it so much. Okay, that's still a little bit wet, but we'll smooth that edge out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they had fun with that. All right, let's turn the fan off. Okay. Um, this has had time to dry, so we're going to go ahead and get this wet again. Let me lighten that just a bit. There we go. Yeah, they're... Ooh! <laughs> That boy loves to sing. He loves music. He loves it so much. All right. So now we're going to use that. Uh, what is it? It is the lemon yellow. A little bit too much water. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. Well, they will be so happy to hear that you all loved it. Yeah, and that was like one take. I was I was very impressed. It's funny, too, because lately he's been picking out all of his own clothes and he will go and pick like his nice collared shirts. Like he likes to look dapper. He does. He'll pick out his nice collared shirts today. Um, despite the fact that we were out riding scooters, he really wanted to wear his cowboy boots, which I'm fine with. I mean, cowboy boots are expensive and it's not like he gets to wear them much now anyway. So <laughs> thanks, Joanna. OK. Um, looks like that brown had some time to dry, so we're going to go ahead and smooth it out a little bit. We are going to ship this again. There we go. Easier to do it on the left side. So now we're just going to get some water. Okay. Too much water. I only want a teeny tiny bit. Just want to soften that edge a smidge. These palettes reactivate really well. I like it a lot. Okay, let's see. Aw, thanks. Thanks, Tammy. Funny thing is, is it's Amazon Tammy, but because I saw it started with A, but I wanted to call you Tammy, I almost just called you Amy. <laughs> Which could work, I suppose, if you wanted to be Amy. 
<laughs> hey, Amy, how you doing? <laughs> All right, we're going to get some more of this. What was it? Lemon yellow. Oof. Bonked the other palette. We're going to put this up here so I can actually read it. Mm. Zoomies. <laughs> more energy. Mm. I just want some strong pigment here. So we just went directly from paint to the paper. brush and nothing like I, I was mixing it in the air between my paint cup and and my tea so there's that I'm telling you it's been a week you guys I literally opened up my freezer looking for a water glass like th this is this is where my brain has been this week no joke I am in the zone Allie I get sucked into it Usually I'm so much more like looking at the screen, looking at what I'm doing, but it's like when you're working with wet mediums, it's just like, can't look away till the color's down. I can't even imagine if like I regularly painted when I streamed. You guys would get no conversation from me whatsoever. It'd just be silent. I might as well do a premiere. Just, just, you know, at least that way I'd chat with you in chat. <laughs> Oh, it's not even that. It's just, there's so much going on with Halloween and just everything, kids' school and whatnot. My brain is in like a thousand places, I swear. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and add our yellow to this top part here now. Is there a new episode on British Bake Off yet? Last one I saw was Pastry Week. I feel like there should be a new episode out already. Is there? I mean, when does it come out? I feel like it should have come out by now. Add this yellow here, and then I'm gonna go try and clean up that edge where I messed up a little bit. Yeah, the pastry one is out, but I don't remember. Does anybody know what day, I mean, in the US, what day in the US it comes out? Steve probably knows. I probably should just ask him. There we go, that's better. Oh, This Is Us is back, all right. I have not watched that in a little while. I don't remember what the last part was that I saw on it. Don't worry, also, we're adding more to the dome. It's not just gonna stay yellow just like that. Okay, um, so now we, we are going to do, oh, you know what? This should have been that kind of brown. I'm gonna grab that brown that we made, or, or brownish orange, that should have been there. Yeah. And then once that dries, we'll add a little bit of indigo on top. Tuesday is when I get a reminder. Oh, so maybe, huh. Third time is jar. What creamer do you use that is so good? Oh, it's that. Oh, sorry, Kenny. Have you tried? I'm sorry if I missed that. Um, it is the, what is the brand? I can't remember that. But it's um, oat milk creamer. It is, Steve, if you're watching, what's that brand of creamer I like? What is that? That's gonna drive me crazy now. It's it's a regular known brand. Oat milk creamer. Is it Nestle? No, it's not Nestle. I don't think it's Nestle. Ah, Coffee Mate. Here we go. This is it. Natural Bliss. That's what it is. I'm so sorry, Kenny. Uh, this one. Wow, that's a huge link. Is that gonna fit? It's not gonna fit. Holy cow, that's a huge link. Okay, but 
<laughs> it is the it is the coffee mate natural bliss oat milk creamer yes and i have um a a whisker that i use like a um, um, um a foamer and i foam it up a bunch um so it literally like doubles in size and it makes it all foamy and it's so good and now i, I want to go get coffee now <laughs> there we go okay i'm so sorry kenny I'm telling you, like, my ability to follow chat tonight has just been abysmal. Abysmal. That's the word of the day today. Abysmal. <laughs> okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. um what do I want to use now? Milk frother. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I use that with the oat milk, and it literally doubles the size and makes it all foamy and delicious. Um, let's see. I want to make that pretty yellow. Okay, I'm going to be a little unorthodox here. Not using two colors right away. We're going to grab some more of this lemon yellow. Hi, Jay! I know, right? I realized I shouldn't have done that. That's probably a little bit copyright. Oh, well. All right. So we're just going to add straight yellow in this space here. The one I have is a rechargeable one. Um, did I make a command for it? I probably should have. Really good. I really like it. Maybe exclamation point frother? I don't know. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Don't worry, that's not going to stay solid, uh, solid yellow. Give me a sec. Yeah, I really like the one that I have. Nah, I didn't make a command for it, but it's this one here. I think at one point I put a uh, link in the description for like the day that I first talked about it. But it is, like, it's perfect. I absolutely love it. It's got two different attachments to it. Hang on, I really wanna, I really wanna find it. Kenny, I'd send you searching for it, but I don't remember the name or the brand for it. And so I'm just looking in my past order real quick bear with me bear with me and it's not that expensive either it's like i want to say it's less than 15 oh there it is there it is 15.99 okay all right here i'm gonna grab the link for you because it is awesome where'd it go i swear i am not technologically challenged heats it up while whipping oh that's nice okay there's the link for that one that's fancy i like it oh my gosh did i just leave my paintbrush in the water that's like painting blasphemy i should know better boots if you just saw that i'm sorry <laughs> a great way to ruin your paintbrushes don't leave it in the water that's like the equivalent that like it doesn't really matter if you drop your paintbrush it does if you drop pencils but it matters if you leave it sitting in the cup. So leaving your paintbrush sitting in the cup of water is the equivalent of dropping your pencils. Like that's just, that's just not okay. How dare I? Okay, we're gonna let that yellow dry. Did I put some in the corner? I did. And then we will do more with it. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same kind of thing real quick and we are gonna grab amaranth, no, scarlet red, scarlet red, uh, which is the fifth one in. So one, two, three, four, five, this one here. Seriously, now I wanna go make coffee. But I probably shouldn't make coffee at 1014 at night, huh? Okay. So bear with me. Think of it like the ugly stage. It'll all come together. It will. The frother at work was part of a $3,000 Italian espresso maker. I will not be able to talk about it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I can't do espresso. Like, I, I need... Like just straight up espresso. Nope, I need flavor and stuff in my, like something to thin it out. I can't do like super just straight coffee. That's like too bitter. Not if you want sleep, meh. Sleep, sleep is overrated, right? No, let me 
me to sleep. This is so tasty. I just need to buy myself some decaf so that I can have it in the evening. I mean, I know there's still a little bit of caffeine in decaf, but next question to anybody who knows, how do they make coffee decaf? Is it a separate bean? Do they remove the caffeine? This could probably be a totally just ridiculous and ignorant question that I should know the answer to. And if it makes it me sound completely unintelligent, I apologize. And I assure you, I am somewhat intelligent. Somewhat. Um, but I'm legitimately curious. How do they make decaf coffee? Okay. That needs to dry. These yellow spots are still drying. Um, do these here. But the question is, do I want to use that metallic paint in it? Hmm, let's try the lemon yellow of the metallic paint, okay? We're gonna bust out a little bit of this metallic paint here real quick while those other sections dry. Here, I'm just gonna put this right, yeah. Now I'll let you guys see it as I grab it here. They wash it to remove the caffeine. Oh, it's how they roast it? Oh, there's two different answers there. I'm intrigued. All right, so these are the metallic watercolors. The link for these are in the description below. I'm gonna put some of this on the palette here. I have no idea. It's the water process, they soak the beans down. Interesting. Yeah, because I think it's pretty impossible, impossible for them to remove Sorry, I'm putting some of this um, metallic yellow over here on the palette so I don't have to hold this over here. I don't know. Do any of you drink uh, decaf coffee? Do you find that it still wakes you up? Lost owned, owned a barista while he was in college. Oh, that's cool. I worked at Starbucks for a little while. So we're just using that metallic yellow. Technically the name is, what is it? Oh, lemon yellow, go figure, but it's metallic. Y4 is what this one is. Several ways to decaffeinate coffee, but the most prevalent is to soak them in a solvent. Well, that doesn't sound healthy. Is that healthy? Do people discourage drinking decaf coffee? That's soaking in solvent? I probably sound so ignorant right now. I apologize, but just something I never really looked into. You know what I mean? Okay. We need to do this part here. I think what we're going to do is... I'm going to grab Rust Red, which is the fourth one in here. Ah, thank you, Angie. <laughs> And again, I drink black tea up to time to go to sleep. Ah, that's fair. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for that creamer, it's just so good. Um, we're not going to color this one full through. We are going to do these little inside parts here. And then we're going to soften the edges and add the yellow for the blend again. I'll look up at chat here in just a second. I am in the zone. The zone, the zone. One of the solvents used to decaf is paint stripper. Paint stripper? Ooh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't drink decaf coffee then. That that sounds that sounds a bit dodgy. Just a bit dodgy. Okay, is this yellow dry yet? I think that yellow is dry. Okay. So now what we're going to grab is, 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 is Persian red, which is what we're already using. So whoopee. I'm going to tell most of you, I work for a coffee roaster. Most roasters never use anything to make it decaffeinated. They just slap on a decaffeinated sticker. Oh no, Mary. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't want to know what's in my shampoo, Angie. <laughs> I suppose on some level, uh, ignorance is bliss. You kind of have to do it in sections, this, while you wait for, for stuff to dry, and you have to just, like, go back and forth and do sections, so... It's definitely a thing of never judge a book by its cover, or don't judge a painting by its stages, I suppose. Blending right on. I got it. It's either it's either not actually decaf or you're drinking paint thinner. So either way, it doesn't sound like decaf's a real bargain. Um, let's grab mahogany, actually. I want to switch it up a little bit for the color, and that is the eighth color in from, so, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's say, how many is it from the one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Mahogany. I don't actually eat that much cereal, Angie. Um, ever since I cut out uh, drinking milk, I don't really do cereal anymore. Using mahogany. But what is it about cereal? I mean, surely not all cereals. There's some pretty decent ones out there. I mean, the kids don't eat, like, a bunch of sugary, like, food dye stuff. We do things like Crispix and... <laughs> That's fair, Septic. I can't with the machinery alone is close to one million. Oh my gosh. Okay, um... Alright, we're gonna do this part here real quick. More water to this. Dang, that's expensive. It just doesn't seem worth it when most people don't drink decaf coffee. That's the extent of my knowledge. <laughs> Let's see. Let's just say that it's got to do with the FDA allows peanut butter is kind of frightening too. <laughs> Joanna. <laughs> Wait, peanut butter? What's frightening about peanut butter? What if I grind my own peanut butter? Wait, does it have to do with like rodents and stuff? Because if that's the case, I don't want to know that. <laughs> I'm just going to claim ignorance is bliss on that one. Um, okay, I want to grab the mahogany again. We're going to turn this. Pretty 
going to zoom out just a bit. There we go. All right. So now I want to, I want to be careful not to go over what I just did. Grab that mahogany, put that there. I'll look up at chat in just a second. Bear with me. Joanna. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do ignorance on that one then, Angie. All right. So now I'm going to soften that. And this one too. A little bit more water, not much. Oops, that's a bit too much. There we go. It's coming along, it's coming along. What do we think? Let's zoom it out here. Like I said, sometimes when you get up close, it's kind of hard to see the whole thing. Wait, is that in focus? I feel like that's slightly out of focus. There we go. Making anybody dizzy? Just. <laughs> Can your eyes keep up? Okay, we're going to soften this a little bit. See me zooming in and out. That's just a way to make sure everybody is, uh, is awake. No sleeping. No, I'm kidding. Um, eat the cookie, buy the shoes, and every pencil the good lord created. I like it. Oh my gosh, really, Ev? What happened? Okay, um, I want to grab burnt umber. Just a teeny tiny bit. Sounds good, Kenny. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you. We get some hypes in chat for Kenny. Okay. That umber here. I suppose I'm taking more time on this than I anticipated, but honestly, I'm okay with that. If you want to see how I paint it, this is how I paint it. Taking my time. Ah, oh, look at all those hypes. Yay. Okay, and then we're going to use it down here. Cat is snoring right now. Hilarious. Go. Okay, then we're gonna smooth out that edge just a tiny bit. And this is why all this might not work in the actual Johanna books, just because uh, thinner paper. But it works well on here. Oh, Septic leaving too? Oh wait, Della's leaving? Who's leaving? Ah, Della's leaving. Okay, good night, Della. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. All right, we can use a little bit more of that burnt umber. Okay, do it here. Okay, all right, 
Now we're gonna flip her around again. Okay. Now I want to use the bone peach or I think so funny thing is is when I did this swatch I totally messed it up. This is what I want, which I think is the copper. Yeah, copper. We're going to do the copper, which is the fourth one in on the metallic set here. I'll take this out so you can see here. Ah, uh, thanks, Angie. All right, so this is the this is the metallic copper here. I looked up at the camera and splattered it on the outside because that's how skilled I am. Okay. Really light. Get rid of some of this water here. No? All right. <laughs> Riveted? Oh, I accept it. <laughs> You put, it's the end of the world as well. Oh, how funny. <laughs> Thanks, Stella. Have a great night. Okay. So we're using that copper. Moving out that edge. Oh, thanks, Allie. It was like the awkward teenager stage, and then it all sort of, you know, I said, it all comes together in the end. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of liking how it's looking better than the first two. <laughs> oh gosh. That's the way it goes, right? See, now I have an audience watching, so, you know, I gotta make sure that what I what I put out here is legit. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get some more this copper here. I almost did this, like, over it, and with my luck, I'd, like, splatter some of it out. Yeah, whacked it on the tripod again. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let that dry for a second and I'm gonna move my paper towel because this one is just too wet so we're gonna flip it over and I'm gonna use the other side there we go all right, all right. we're gonna leave this alone while this dries and we're gonna do the fronds here okay so we're gonna zoom out a bit because I want to be able to see the fronds in here um i keep calling them the fronds i don't know tentacles the stingy thingies i don't know is there a word for these actual body parts of this jellyfish all right we are going to be starting with what do we want to use amaranth i think yeah i think we use amaranth i thought about cadmium red but i don't know maybe we could use cadmium red cadmium red is the sixth one in Maybe. It could be. Six one in from the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that really Captain Red? Yeah, I suppose so. It's pretty bright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's pretty bright. Tendrils. Oh, yes. Tendrils. That's better. I like that. Tendrils. Ooh, 
Ooh, that was a lot of water on that. Okay. Uh, you know, we'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. I don't want to zoom in too far, because knowing me, I work too quickly, and then I, it escapes. Like, it's not in frame anymore. We need more pigment than that. There we go, that's better. Pretty bright. I think we'll definitely tone it down just a little bit. Yeah, that's way bright. Bacon? Why are you smelling bacon? Oral arms. Thick ones are called tentacles. Lapets. Ah, okay. Tentacles and tendrils. Hi, Sydney. Yes, we're doing all watercolor, Sydney. Oral arms. Smaller one are tentacles. Well, there you go. See, this is why I have you here with me. need my informative chat. I'm perfectly honest. Don't think I'm happy with the red that I chose, but I'm already in it, so we're going to make it work. First of all, I'm going to take out some of this pigment because it's really bright. A little too bright. But see, whenever I make a mistake, now you guys get to see how I fix it. I don't care what they're called. They bloody hurt, right? <laughs> oh, downstairs cooking. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. I want bacon. Eve, we should have got bacon at the store. That's what we should do. No, we're going to have a lot of Halloween food tomorrow. Probably too much to eat. Okay. We're going to continue on. Add the red. We're going to let this section dry. I think it's going to become a mess if I add too much more water to those ones up there. So we will adjust as we get down there. But we're going to go much lighter for this next portion of red here. During this stream, someone cooks bacon? <laughs> uh, I have to be honest, I've never been stung by a jellyfish. Um, I mean, I've seen my fair share of jellyfish, but as far as like being in the ocean, um, I haven't really got stung by them. A long time since I've been to the ocean, though. I miss it. Actually, this kind of kind of work to do kind of a fade all the way down. Work. Oh, awesome! That sounds like fun, Sydney. Well, I'll admit I am not even a self-proclaimed expert of these i just sort of roll with it and enjoy them <laughs> all right um we are gonna use i think naples yellow no do i want naples yellow yeah naples yellow See if we can add to this now. Not quite yet. Blue bottles, yes. Let me add this in here. Looks a little messy right now, but just hang in there with me, huh? We're, we're in the awkward teenager stage of our of our jellyfish here.
<laughs> Thanks, Allie. <laughs> yeah, it's all part of the process. Oh, I'm glad, Aspie. We'll get there together. We'll get there together. Ah, my hands are all wet. <laughs> oh no, Angie. Oh, that makes me cringe just thinking about it. When I was a kid and we go to the beach, I liked to collect sand um, and bring it home for, you know, whatever reason. And usually I'd grab some seawater along with it too. You know, just a little bit like in a cup or something. And I remember I brought it home and on when we got home, I realized I had accidentally um, gathered up some sand crabs. Also those tiny little ones that just dig, uh, dig holes in the sand, but they're so small, you don't notice them. So obviously they're used to, because I was at the um, Pacific Ocean, it's pretty cold. So they're used to cold. So I actually, like as a kid, I would keep it in the fridge because it was cold enough in there until we'd make it back to the beach. And, uh, you know, because usually whatever was in the sand was enough to keep them fed. And then we'd go back to the beach and I'd release them and I felt so bad. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm so sorry, little sand crab. So I just kept them in the fridge. So we made it back to the beach and I released them. <laughs> yes, beauty is in the process. Exactly. All right, I'm going to change my water real quick. Wow, that little cam got real blown out real fast, didn't it? I don't know why it's suddenly all... There we go, that's better. It's a bit better. Oh, okay, I'm gonna clean my water real quick. One sec. When you're doing like subtle light colors like this, when your water is a little bit orange, it really makes a difference. So having clean water can make the process go a little bit better. Oh. Amazingly, they survived. So I guess putting them in the fridge did keep them alive long enough, but. <laughs> Okay. Getting pretty wet, but that's okay. The artist edition really does stand up to a fair amount of water. It does really good. What I might do is just do all this one tendril here because I'm realizing what time it is and I want to make sure we can get to the other stuff too. We'll do this one tendril and then we'll do a couple of these and then I'll do this other one um, off stream so that we can still get to testing out the paper too because it's already 1045. So um, I think that's what we'll do. Open up on the brush again, my gosh. Brush abuse, that's what that is. All right, let's see, that was yellow ochre, which was. No, were we using yellow ochre? Yeah, we were using yellow ochre. No. Holy crud, what is that color I'm using? Naples yellow, that's what I'm using. Yes, Allie, I love it. It's a fantastic alternative when you feel like the stuff in the Lost Ocean book is too small. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there that's that's bigger. And I find that incredibly helpful. It's just a shame they're not coming out with any more. At least not that I know of.
Okay. I know I am so much more quiet today than I usually am, but like I said, it takes a certain level of concentration. <laughs> it is bigger, yes. Um, where is my copy? I might have tucked it away. Well, basically, look at this real quick. Let me grab. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Let's see if I can find the original illustration of this one for side by side comparison. Okay, here you go. Hang tight. Hang tight. I guess it's not super huge, but also the cardstock makes a difference. So I've done this page before. Wow, you can tell I kind of went with the same color schemes almost, except for now the orange one. So, I mean, we're talking size-wise. I guess it's about the same now that I look at it, but the bigger paper and the thicker paper makes a difference. I wish I had some of the other pages, but I, there are some pages in there that are bigger. So this one may look the same, but the larger paper and the cardstock really helps. So I, I still say get it. I mean, there yeah, it is more frameable. Um, I don't think you would be disappointed if you got it. I think that you would think it was a good investment of your money. Funny thing is, is I don't even think I put the link for Lost Ocean in the description below, the artist edition. Okay, um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use that umber down here. Which is silly of me, because I'm usually pretty good about my links. But yeah, it's just the Lost Ocean artist edition. All right, we're gonna grab the indigo. Okay. I need to do this part here. We're gonna use, what do I wanna use? Uh, I, think, I think rust red, which is the fifth one in here. Yeah, rust red. Oh, sounds good, Ev. I'm so glad you had a good birthday and you're welcome for the song. The kids loved singing it. Have a happy birthday. And many more. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Cha cha cha. The jazz hands. <laughs> Coming along. Hmm? Okay, um, cadmium red. Zoom in just a little bit more here. Oh, too bright. There we go. So who is planning on being at uh, Belinda's stream tomorrow? Should be a lot of fun. I'm excited for it. There we go. Okay. 
We're gonna dry this for just a second. And like I said, I'll do the other large one off stream and then we'll do a couple of these and then I'll do the under of this little thing here and then it'll be about... Hi, Azelina! Oh, let's see. That was not a yawn. I had two cups of coffee today. That should not be a yawn. When is your stream tomorrow? 8 p.m. Central Time, Joanna. And I'll be on it as, as well as other artists. Um, it'll just be all over on her channel. We're going to do a big old Zoom party thingy. It should be fun. We're doing a bit of a fun challenge that night, too. Like, for those of you that remember when she did the stream with Laura and Connie and they had to wear gloves or socks or something. Anyway, but it was fun. It was fun. Should be that level of fun. Awesome. She's got the um, the streams uh, scheduled already on her um, YouTube, so you can um, set yourself a reminder. Okay, so now we're going to grab Rust Red, I think. Yeah, Rust Red. water on me. That's perfect, Isalina. In the meantime, before we get to the other um, watercolors, we're going to test some of the tube watercolors a little bit um, and the paper. So if you guys have any questions or want me to try something, uh, be thinking about that. All right. Um, we're going to do cadmium yellow. And now we're going to go ahead and, ooh, that might be too much water. I'm going to have to be careful with that. There we go. Yeah, that was a bit much water. I'm going to need to... I might need to let that dry before I revisit that one. All right, while that dries, let's go and do the underside. Oh, thanks, Jay. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this here. That lemon yellow. I love how this paint reactivates even after having sat here for like, I don't know, how long ago did we do this brown under here? Like ages ago. It feels so weird being so quiet, but 
<laughs> I'm concentrating. let those dry just a bit. All right, let's zoom out just a smidge while that dries. How are we feeling about that? Hmm? Maybe there. I don't want it to be too bright. All right, let's get that yellow dried real quick because I can't do anything with that until that dries a bit more. Yeah, it looks way different than the other two I did. This is what happens when it takes when I take so much time between doing stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Allie. Thanks, Sherry. It could be ready. Ready could be a word. <laughs> All right, I'm just waiting for this to dry just a smidge. There we go. That's actually working out well just a little bit here. Tiny bit of water. Okay. So I think I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, right, I know, right? <laughs> Joanna. Thanks, Septic. So we're going to stop where we're doing, and I will do this other one and these off stream just because it would probably take me another 30 minutes. And it's already 11, and I want to get to that other paper. Um, so. Aw, thanks, Angie. Yeah, so we've got, um, let's brighten this up just a bit. Okay, so this one, like I said, I used the water brushes, you know, blues and greens. This one I did pink. It's hard to see. If I tilt it like this, it goes out of focus, but see that one had a little bit of metallic on it. And then, yeah, we used a little bit of metallic up top and in some of the places, but it's not super noticeable. Oh, no, no worries, Jay. That's it's it's nothing you even need to be worried about. You are just fine. But yeah. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. I'm looking at it now. I'm just like, feel like I'm tooting my own horn over here. <laughs> oh, good night, Sherry. All right, let's take a quick look at before we go. First of all, I want to see if I can wipe this off here. Ah, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Let's see. Is it gonna let me wipe off the rest of the way? Let's see. Snag some of this water here. Aha! Here we go. Because I want to open up the palette for blending. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is oh, we're gonna set these jellyfish aside real quick and we're gonna grab some of these tube watercolors because i'm excited to try out this paper Why not bright enough? yeah that's okay all right um so let's grab let's see i did like pinks and blues and greens let's do hmm grab a blue what is this this is cobalt blue i think i did cerulean blue in the video so let's grab this is cobalt blue and this is um this has two pigments in it okay and then let's grab Ooh, neon pink let's have fun with that okay Neon pink. Woo! That is neon. That is bright. That is like... Anyone else see how that's glowing? Good lord. Um, and then let's grab... Ooh, let's grab light green. Light green. Light green. 
and hello neon i know right look at that it's literally like glowing like i'm pretty sure there's like actual radiation in that paint um i probably could have left these in all their tins but i kind of like having them in the box i think if i was doing like a true painting with them let's see you know i'd, I'd probably organize them a little bit better but i don't know kind of like having it all here we use a lot of lemon yellow tonight let's do lemon yellow yeah there we go that was like a little bit drier coming out the top i wonder if that has to do with pigment okay that's enough colors that's four colors 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 all right and then we're gonna grab because i haven't like swatched out all of these paint colors or any or of the two ones obviously i have with the watercolors but not those all right we're gonna move that there move that to share move that to share we're gonna be using this one and this one here don't want to use the water brushes this time okay so we have this one is the ready cut watercolor 100 percent cotton strathmore cold press this is really bright cold press okay no the two paints are watercolor yeah alex so you have like this where it is the palettes, like the, the bricks, the hard bricks, which is where you'll find most of your watercolors. These are the tube watercolors that I uh, reviewed the other day. So if you want to see them up close, uh, that, that's in the, uh, in the review. Okay, but the paper, the paper is, is new. I didn't do that in the review. This is Strathmore paper. Okay, so this is cold press. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a C up top here. Just for you guys, because you won't be able to see, <laughs> get it, see and see, uh, see the difference in the paper in person. Ah, uh, thanks, Ali. Yeah, I had fun doing that one. I mixed it up a little bit. I mixed it up a little bit. All right. So this is the cold press, and then we have the Strathmore Ready Cut Watercolor Five by Seven Hot Press Watercolor Paper. So I've always been curious, you know, how this makes a difference with maybe how it flows. Ah, uh, thank you, Shannon. Or how it works with the watercolor. So we're gonna use the same kind of watercolor. Now, I will say that when I did it, I realized, like you saw how much we reactivated with the bricks. Didn't work as well with these two paints. And I think part of that is a skill thing, something maybe I'm gonna need to learn in the long run. Um, but let's see, can we zoom out anymore? I wanna make sure you guys can see all of this here. There we go. And then let's get this in focus. Hang tight. Bear with me. There we go. All right. Okay. So this one is the hot press. And Shannon, also, I know it's getting late. So if you're getting sleepy, you don't you don't have to stick around. I appreciate you so, so much. But uh, I don't want you to drop your phone on your face again. And I love you. And I don't want you to get hurt. <laughs> All right. So let's see, we got a clean cup, kind of semi-clean cup of water here, but it's all right. Looks like a really weak tea right now. That's what that water looks like. Um, I'm gonna close this up for now. Okay, we're gonna move the water in front here. We'll probably test a little bit of these, um, the palette ones on the paper just so we can get, you know. <laughs> you like that, Shannon? Okay, so there are two different things that you can do with this paper. You can go paint on dry paper or you can do wet on wet and that means where you apply a little bit of water beforehand which is what I think we're going to go ahead and try first mm, I don't want to use this paintbrush first we're going to use this one here okay so we're going to do the hot press one first and we're going to lay down some water let's see if we can okay you're not going to be able to see anything right away because it's just water and just what with the camera it's not going to show that much you know but I can kind of look and see where it's at. So there's a little bit of water. I guess I should have prepped the colors. Let's do the hot pink first. Hmm? Let's do this over here and let's bring this up. There we go. Now you can kind of see this one too. All right, so we're going to get this hot pink first, okay? Wow, that is so bright. Maybe it's, hi, Christina. Maybe it's not as bright to you guys, but in real life, holy cow, this is like 
neon neon what did they put in this pink this is literally like I feel like I should be wearing sunglasses with this. Oh my word. This is crazy. Okay, we're gonna get this nice and wet, but seriously, that is so bright. Does that look just as bright for you guys? That's so bright. That's so bright. Yeah, this is like legit neon. All right, so if you are looking for a neon pink, man, look no further. This is like the neon of the neon. Bar it is Barbie. They need to rename this Barbie Pink. Okay, this dried, so we're gonna re-wet this real quick. It's got a little bit of a hue of pink to it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick some of this up. See what happens here. Hmm. Okay, so I can definitely see, let's zoom in here for you guys. I think that's about as clear as it's gonna get. I don't know if you can see, but maybe brighten it up a little bit. I swear it's in focus. It just doesn't because it's just the way it is. It's not filling at all. But I can definitely see the texture of the paper underneath. But I'm also having just gone from cardstock. Do you know what I mean? All right, let's try this just directly on dry. And the next question is, how well will it reactivate? It is like, how do you control that color? What do you mean? Like, just because it's so bright? Actually, we're going to let that dry a little bit. And then we're going to see if we can reactivate it. I don't know that we'll be able to, but we'll see. All right, we're going to clean this. Let's get some of this green. That's still a pretty nice green, too. I don't know if you can see it here. Let's zoom out. There you go. It's funny how that changes color after I zoom out. <laughs> yeah, the wet on dry looks pretty nice. It looks smoother for sure, but I think it's because the paper has been saturated. So that definitely gives a hint as to maybe how much water the paper can actually hold. So we're going to clean this now. Okay, let's do wet first. Okay, then let's grab this green. I mean, you know, obviously adding water first is going to give you a different look. It really just depends on what you're going for. We got it all just moves. I like that. Okay, now let's just go ahead and grab our green. Let's put a little bit more in there. Uh, even the green looks pretty bright, doesn't it? That's interesting. It's not, it does look really bright, doesn't it? No, the green was, I think it was this one. Sap green? No, that doesn't seem right. Which one did I grab? I should have left it out. It might have been sap green. Yeah, it was this one, sap green, PG7 and PY1 is what it was. But yeah, it's really bright. Well, I mean, you can see how it looks. I guess it gets brighter as it's thinned out. Maybe lower that one notch. See if that ooh, see if that helps. So like this is the paint here all together. So you can see it actually looks pretty dark next to it. But once we add water, it almost Yeah, it is more thick. Yeah, it definitely is. Alright. Let's go ahead and prep our yellow now. Then put olive over it to soften the tone. Yes. And we did this is the lemon yellow. Which is also, I ended up choosing really bright colors. Oh my gosh. I chose the lemon yellow because we've been using it so much tonight. Uh, I put a lot of pigment in there. There we go. All right, let's clean this. Very yellow water now. Oh my gosh, you were right. Oh, Aspie. Oh, I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> All right. There's definitely more buckling on the part of the paper where I put, um, more, you know, the, the wet first, um, which should make sense. Um, I think if I were to do the whole thing, I would definitely want to lay down some painter's tape. 
there is this woman on um, Instagram. I think I shared it in the Discord. Cindy Lane, Cindy Lane Art, Cindy Lane Art. I forget what it is, um, but she does amazing, wonderful things with watercolor. Like that would be that would be my watercolor goals. Yeah, it's like poster paint. I know, right? Very '80s colors. Well, the next one that I did is uh, cobalt blue. So we'll see how that one looks. All right, let's zoom in a little bit. See, because you can see where let's see let's get this in focus first and then we're gonna brighten this okay so you can see where because the paper has buckled the green is pooling on other side it is highlighter pens isn't it oh my gosh it really is all right fingers crossed that the <sighs> betsy just or or lisa frank lisa frank all right Let's do there. I didn't leave myself really enough space there, but let's go ahead and let's light up this blue, I suppose. Okay, that's much darker, much darker, still vibrant. I will say one thing for Arteza, like I got some vibrant colors, man. Lisa Frank, yes. All right. There we go. All right, so this blue is going to be a smaller swatch. And I also feel like you're going to make your colors last longer with the pans. I mean, I feel bad because I did a review, so I should be like, yeah, these are the best. But I also want to give you guys, you know, accurate reviews on them. And if I'm perfectly honest, I prefer the, uh, the pans to the tubes. Look at that. You see how that's kind of... Let's see. Brighten that once. There you go. Okay. Move my water up here so you can see. Okay. It's interesting. Maybe because the other ones were so bright. But I'm going to wipe away some of this. Do you see how this is almost like pilling? I don't really like that. But the, also the point is to see what's the difference between cold and hot press, you know? It's so funny because the green in comparison to the pink and the yellow weren't super bright. But you still get some of that almost pilling look with just the dry, you know? There we go, that's better. Give it to us straight. Well, yeah, I'd like to think, yeah, I do. So it's like my instinct is like, oh, I should be, you know. You know, and they're not bad. And I bet you somebody who's more familiar with tube paint could probably do, boots would probably do wonders with them. But I'm definitely more, co more comfortable with the palettes for sure. Okay. We're gonna save this other side for when we test the uh, the palette ones versus this. Okay, so we're gonna do cold press now. I'm gonna try and save a little bit more room for the uh, all four of the colors this time. Granulating paint. Maybe, you know, I'm rubbing on it. You know, it might be that. The paper still feels smooth. So yeah, maybe it could be a paint thing. All right, was my head actually in there? It probably was. Yeah, it could be granulating. That makes sense because it's not consistent with all of them because the yellow, the yellow is pretty smooth. Well, and it could be hot press versus cold press too. Oh no, I left my paintbrush in the water again. Someone call the watercolor police. Yes. Okay, so that's one of the other things, Aspie, that I tested because I was seeing that a lot with other people who... I'm going to move this because I'm going to get my glove in it. Um, who did these. And these actually don't dry fantastically. I let them dry in my palette for 24 hours and the paint was cracking and it was coming loose from the ceramic. So... Um, I don't know how durable they would be for travel. Like they don't really, they adhere to the ceramic a little bit, but from what I've read, people who put them in plastic palettes, like it just pops straight up. Um, so the Arteza ones I think would be better for, you know, just active straight use from the tubes. You know what I mean? Okay. That's with the water. That's 
dry. You're definitely seeing a lot of the texture. So hot press and cold press. The cold press has more texture. The hot press is much more smooth. Yes, Aspie, that's what Boots told me. That's what Boots said. I am definitely intrigued to get that. But yes, Boots said that if you add that to it, it will help it so it doesn't crack up. Okay, and then what did we do next? We did green. Grab a little bit more green there. No? Yeah, because I think what I'm seeing under this is the texture of it. Okay. Oh, for paints? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I There's a lot I don't know about tube paints, most definitely. This one just looks darker because I added more pigment to it, but that's the dry one. Okay. Now we're going to shift down. Honey? I've never heard of honey, Angie. Would that uh, turn rancid at all because it's food? All right. Uh, so we're going to lay down some water. Okay. Then we're going to get our yellow that lemon yellow yeah I inadvertently chose extremely bright colors that was that was not my original plan <laughs> I will say this yellow is awfully smooth though I like it oh same here same here Joanna like I said I usually do the bricks so this tube paint is is which is why I was curious to to review it just because it's so new to me you know all right Get some water here. Lay down. Yeah, the way this uh, Cindy woman does is she does it so she loads up so much pigment on her brush, and then she just like touches a corner, and there's so much pigment on her brush that then the pigment just flows, and it's just like I'm touching it now, but like she didn't have to touch it at all, and it's just I don't know. Maybe I like need more, more pigment. All the pigment. Yeah, that's a little bit. But, yeah. Like, see, even blowing it, the pigment doesn't move around. I don't know what she uses. It's friggin' gorgeous, whatever it is that she uses. As long as you don't eat it. I suppose so. But, I mean, what if, what if it, like, turned moldy in its pans? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know much about it. Alright, and that's dry. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to let this dry. So this is the cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So hot press is smoother. Cold press is not. All right. So now we're going to bring back the card. Oh, look at that edging where that kind of dried. That's interesting. Okay. All right. So now what I want to see is if this paint can be reactivated to be moved around. Oh, that's right, it doesn't. Look at those edges, yeah, I know, right? It just, it pooled and just, okay. So I'm adding water to this. Hey, that actually softened really well. I'm wondering if it was the, Boots mentioned something about how certain pigments are more staining than others. But look at that, that reactivated really well. Let's try this one where it's got a bit more of an edge. Took a little bit more water, but that reactivated well too. That's encouraging. I was a little disappointed with how the other ones um, reactivated, but... Yeah, it's probably because of the paper, Joanna. All right, now let's try the green. Adding more water, but still, yeah. That one took more water than the pink, but it did reactivate. I do feel like this isn't granulated paint here that's coming up. This is a little bit of paper, so that's a con, I suppose. All right. Now let's see if we can get rid of these lines here. What's a better quality paper, the hot or cold press? 
Is that what you're talking about? Okay, that reactivated pretty well. All right, I'm feeling better about this. Maybe it was just the colors that I chose. We'll see on the blue. I'm sure the yellow will. The yellow seems really nice. I feel like I could have the yellow over for dinner and it would be, you know, not rude about my cooking. And, you know, even if it didn't like the tomatoes on the salad, you know, it wouldn't pick it out. I feel like this yellow would be a very, very good dinner companion. <laughs> Strathmore versus Arteza. Ah, yes. Yes, that's why I got the Strathmore. Um, the Strathmore is what um, Boots recommended. Okay, so that reactivated really well. Okay, now here's the blue. Eh, blue seems to be struggling a little. Keep going with the water, see what happens. Keep going, keep going. How much water can this puppy take? Hey, look at that. That's smoothing out. Not too shabby. When we're done here, I'm going to flip this over, see what it looks like on the opposite side. Yellow equals polite. It's a very polite yellow. See, this is really a good test to see how just how much water it can take. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I believe in you, Blue. I believe in you. Oof. All right. That one struggled a little bit. Let's flip it over and see. Yeah, it is still lifting, which is good. Well, there is a little bit of curling on the paper, which I think is... Exp I don't know if you can... There, there you go. Okay, you can see. You see how there's a little bit of divot? But it's not wet. It feels cool, but it's not wet. And I can't see through it. So that's points for the hot press, for sure. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's see what happens with the cold press, shall we? Okay. So on the hot press, the blue is the only one that really seemed to struggle, and the green a little bit, but they're also darker pigments, so. All right, so this is the cold press. Okay. You can do it, pink. You can do it, pink. Hmm. Pink's struggling just a little bit. Hey, Steve. You getting sleepy? Oh. Snap. Are you unsettled, Paul? Do you not like... You just want to come in here? <laughs> it's all right. Did he eat all his food or did uh, Annie eat his food? Oh, he ate it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> he needed to use the bathroom chat. That is why the cat is unsettled. <laughs> yeah, that one took a little bit more because if you look, we've practically lifted like all the pigment. It's pretty pale. I don't know. The cold feel like it had to work a little bit more. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> you guys can't hear it, but I can hear the cat going to the bathroom and it's totally gross. Poor guy. He just needed to go potty. <laughs> All right. I feel like this one's going to take a little bit longer. Yeah, she's been sleeping the whole time, not getting into things. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't want to lift as well. I feel like it's having to work a little bit harder on the cold press. Wow, when did you get colors for like those like circle dot stickers you get when you're doing like a garage sale? That is what it looks like, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like I should put prices on these. Let's see. Nothing like swatching at, you know, 11.30 at night. Seems like a good time to do it. All right. That one wasn't as bad. That one gave a little bit more. Oh, look at how polite this yellow is. I, I would invite this yellow for dinner. I bet you yellow would bring like a salad with him too. You know, I can't show up empty handed. A salad, maybe a nice bottle of wine. Oh yeah, definitely Angie. Uh, put it in the self promo channel. That's where we put all the links for additional channels and whatnot. Look at that yellow, I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of you yellow. <laughs> All right, now 
let's do this blue. I need more water than that. <laughs> right, Allie? I bet he does. Or she. Or, you know, maybe non-gender specific. <laughs> let's see. Come on, blue. Come on, blue. Oof. My wrist is getting tired. Or they, exactly. Maybe yellow identifies as a cat. I'm not gonna judge. It's 2020. Oh, I added a lot of water to that one. That one didn't take too hard to come up. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. Um, now that we've done the tubes, real quick, because I know you guys don't want to see me diluting paint all night. We're gonna go ahead and do one quick test. We'll probably just do two colors each on here. I think four might've been a little bit much. Um, here, we can tilt that up so you can see what it is I'm doing here. Okay. Oop, I smeared that. All right, so hot, cold. I guess it would help if I centered them so you could see them. There we go. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and grab a blue also, because that was the one that seemed to struggle as much. Actually, do I have a cobalt? No, I don't. Okay. This is just another blue. All right. So we're going to do just dry here. Dry here. Get a quick rinse. Okay. And this is just straight from palette the paper. I'm not blending or anything or, you know, sending it out beforehand. Okay, let's grab a quick green. We're gonna... Oh, no, wait, I did that backwards. Hold up. Let that dry a second. All right, let's grab our kind of bright green that we have here. Okay. Oh my gosh, I didn't I did that blue not even. Thank you. I totally missed that. That was my bad. Can I zoom out anymore? Yes, I can. I was out of frame, Steve. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Steve just like out open mouth gaping at me like, what? I love you, Steve. <laughs> uh oh jet. Oh, Angie, you have plenty of talent. I'm just coloring blobs of color. This is, this is pretty, uh, pretty simplified. <laughs> All right, those are the two green ones. And then let's throw in, um, here. This is a pinkish color. It's definitely not neon pink, but. Okay, a little bit of water. A little bit of water. This is just more of like an informative wind down. That's what this is. Okay, we're gonna skip yellow for now because we know yellow is pretty well behaved, and I want to try and get these at some point here. Let's grab the fan, get these dried. I know, right? The colors with attitude. In fact, I'm gonna turn this on high. We blow away the papers. We'll know why. I don't know how loud this fan is for you guys. Musically, but I'm more of a trial. Wait, musically? Are you musical, Angie? Do you sing? Do you play? Do you compose? I must know. All right. I'm trying to get these dry here pretty quick. I might have added too much water, but we'll see. See, I spent so much time swatching it. It gave the other one time to dry, but you can see here that it's like glaring off. Okay, what if we... Put it like this. Is that getting here? Yes. Okay. All right. We need to let these dry for a minute. So in the meantime, how is everyone? <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. <gasps> Angie, is there anywhere we can hear your stuff? <gasps> Another musician. Okay. See that? Like, I like to do art and stuff like this, but being able to compose music just blows my mind. Like, I have no idea how you can, like, pull notes from your head and string them all together and make them sound good. Like... That just fascinates me. Fascinates me. I have a friend who does some composing um, 
and like it's just my brain does not work that way did i miss anything earlier no we're just watching paint dry oh my gosh we're sitting here watching paint dry this is what we're doing for stream we're watching paint dry <laughs> No, we're just doing swatching and testing out hot press versus cold press, tube versus pan. But to do what I did with the other earlier ones, I've got to let these dry. We're literally sitting here watching paint dry. Guitar and piano? Oh my gosh. Do you guys have any other stuff like I can hear? We need to start like a YouTube band community for you guys. And then you can like all record your part. <gasps> oh, we need to do like a Zoom where you guys all play music together and like we can like hear an orchestra. I love watching paint dry. I know, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, we need like, okay, we need to start a, a coloring band. We will be a coloring band, except for me. I'll paint the signs for the band, okay? I'll design the t-shirts and I'll, you know, go woohoo when you guys play and I'll hold the lighter up. I'll be your guys' uh, what is this? I'll, I'll be a groupie. I'll be your groupie. Can you guys start a coloring band, please? <laughs> Hi, Shara. Shara, are you musical? We're starting a band. We're going to call it the Colorettes. I'm guitar, singing, clarinet, and produce slash compose. Oh my gosh, Angie. Angie, Angie, post your stuff in the, wait, what's Cybelius? Si si what's Cybelius? I don't know what that is. But if you have your stuff somewhere, post it in the, in the, in the promo channel. I want to hear you play. I've tried to do piano. I just don't have the patience to learn it. If I could choose any instrument to play, though, it would be piano. Like, I wish I knew how to play the piano. Like, if they said, if a genie showed up and said, hey, you can have one wish to learn to play any instrument, what would it be? I would say piano. Like, I love piano. If I could be well-versed on piano, I would be a happy camper. Oh, awesome, Cher. I'm so glad. Oh, it's a music notation software. Ah, okay. See, this is how little I know about music. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. This one, I think, is going to be done first. Doesn't help that I'm covering up the blue. What we'll do is we'll start testing this one while the fan blows on this one as soon as it's done. See? Look at all you musically inclined people. Don't deaf, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, almost there. This one's almost there. And then those ones will dry while we do it. Yep, it's official. We're going to be the Colorettes. C-O-L-O-R-E-T-T-E-S. The Colorettes. And um, we're going to go on tour. But... See, because of the virus, we have to be careful. So what we'll do, what we'll do is we're going to get a bunch of those um, inflatable dinosaur costumes with the tiny arms. And we're going to be the colorettes. But the spin on it is that we're all dressed like T-Rexes. Because, see, we'll be enclosed in these costumes and be safe from the virus. So really, we could go anywhere and we'll be the dinosaur colorettes. You know? People aren't going to forget, you know, uh, people playing you know instruments and singing in their dinosaur costumes the colorettes oh yes with the u i apologize i apologize with the u <laughs> glitter hair sprayed for all yes yes it's a thing a plan is in formation we will wear dinosaur costumes and we will travel yes of course we will get like a glitter yeah glitter hair spray and we'll just spray them maybe we'll wear like our dinosaurs will have sequin vests and belts like, just full on, as 80s as we can get, you know, <laughs> talking crazy. This is what happens when I start watching paint dry at 1130 at night. <laughs> it's the second cup of coffee talking. Okay. I think that one's pretty close to dry. All right, so we're going to shift this over. And we're going to, ooh, it's blowing it away. Okay. We're going to put this here. We're going to let that dry. Mm, I think I need to point it the other way, though, because it's going to dry what we're doing before we can do it. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put this over here. <laughs> that works, Shara. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this pen on here. Okay. All right. All right, we're, we're gonna table the band. You know, we'll, we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. 
What's in that paint? Well, no, I'm kidding. Um, yes, I love it, Angie. All right, so now we are going to reactivate and see how the pans do, okay? So we, this is the cold press paper. Hey, that's not too bad. I see, I felt like the pans reactivated a bit better. Mmm, this one, the paper's coming up just a smidge. Not too bad. Could be a little bit better on that one dry one. Okay. You know, doing it this way, they almost seem kind of equal. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'd hum that right now, uh, Aspie, if it wasn't totally copyright. Because now it's stuck in my head. I mean, I can sing it off key. Do, 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 da, do, do, da, da, do, da, do. There you go. That's my off key, uh, non copyrighted version of um, playing the ocarina. Oh, can I help you? Or did you post something else? Oh, it automatically held for review. Oh. Uh, what was your question, Christina? Ah, perfect. Yes. Exclamation point email. Perfect. Yes. You can uh, email me there. See, Shannon, that's what, that's just what you got to get Brian to start doing is, is have him sing all completely off key and the wrong keys. And then he can sing whatever song he wants on your channel. All right, this is the blue. I mean, but we saw from doing the jellyfish that we could still, you know, relift for what we need. You know, it's not like we need it to lift completely. But yeah, I'm really wondering if it was the paper that maybe the Strathmore is just better. So this is going to come down to uh, what do we like better, cold press or hot press? Oh, Boots, you're probably going to cringe at what I'm doing. <laughs> um, no, we are doing um, hot and cold press paper, and we're doing swatches to see how well they reactivate um, pans versus tubes, and we're going to see how well they, they can reactivate. And, and yeah, because I think we're realizing that part of my problem um, when I did the review video was honestly the paper. So, um, yeah. Okay, this is pretty dry. So what we're doing is we're the, each paint swatch is wet on dry and then wet on wet. And we're seeing how well it reactivates. Yes, I'm playing with paint essentially. It's informative. Anybody else want a snack? I think I need to go get a snack after this. What do they say about eating after 10 p.m. that it just goes straight to your hips? Yeah, I just figure I'll be able to sit more comfy. This is not lifting as well. And I think it has, this one has more to do with the pigment because maybe it's darker. Guys, I'm getting a cramp in my arm. <laughs> Anything with PV19, PB15, PG7, PG36 will not lift. Okay, well this one's got Ah, PG7. There we are. Oh, well, that was this tube paint. The pans, I'm not sure. The pans, I'm not sure. Because this one that we're doing right now is the pans. But if this green is anything like this green, odds are it probably does. Yeah, because this one's struggling a little bit more. But we know from experience that you can reactivate when you're doing... You know, like from when we did the jellyfish. Okay, my arm's getting tired. Um, yeah, it didn't work as well on this one. I could probably work longer on it, but... Boots, what did you say was the purpose for hot and cold press? What works better for what? You, you were telling me about that earlier.
Yeah, this one was... This one. Amaranth. Which was A253. But yes, you're right. It does look like it's got some of that in it. Thalo Blue. This one is the... Mm, it might be Thalo Blue. Which one did I grab? Was this one the fifth one? In... Oh no, this one was the one I did. And that was... The sixth one in from green. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one is Cerulean. Yeah. Yeah, this one is Cerulean. This one was Cobalt Blue. This one was Lemon Yellow. This is Sap Green. This was Neon Pink. So bright. So bright. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, but Boots, look how bright this neon is. This is like blinding. It was so bright. And even like thinning it out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, it is closing in on midnight. Did anybody have any questions or want me to do anything with these before we call it on our watercolor evening here? For those of you who weren't here earlier, this is what we were doing. I'm gonna do the rest of this off stream because it was gonna take too long and I wanted to get to this fun part. Phosphorescent. Yeah, because for the neon pink, it's this one here. It says that it is whoop, Okay, hold still you. There you go. I don't know if you can read that. Really tiny. It says C dot I dot four five four ten is what this one says. Oh, they fade. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, still going strong. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't even think about the light fastness of Well, it's got, yeah, it's got a two for the light fastness rating. Sap green is three. I'm going to say four. It means it has an additive. Okay. All right, so we have threes. I'm wondering if three is the highest it goes for the light fastness rating. Three, three. Three, three. Three might be the highest. Let's see, the white is a three. Pretty and green is a three. Latte brown. Ooh, latte brown. Now I want coffee because that's what I need right now. Violet is a three. Saffron orange. There's a two. Okay, so I think most of these are twos and threes. What pigments are in sap green? Uh, PG7 and PY1. Here's my question. Why don't they tell us, or maybe they do on the nicer acrylics, but this is the first I've seen where it shows like what the pigments are. So why don't they, do they do that in acrylic painting? Yeah, so, so far the twos are going to be neon pink, orange red has two for the light fastness rating. And those are both pretty bright. Good night, Cheryl. Using a three as most light fast. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Gamboge. This one's called Gamboge. Raw Umber. Ultramarine Blue. Burnt Sienna. Steve, you'd love this. We're talking about light fastness rating. Mm. It's basically how many stars does this paint have? How many stars does it have? Anywhere from two to three, it looks like. I have yet to find anything that's higher than three and lower than two. Neons are always nearly huge. What are, what are the single pigments? The single pigments are gonna be, let's see. Zoom. <laughs> oh, they're all out here. In, in artist grade acrylic, they should have pigment info, otherwise they might be diabased. Ah, okay, okay. All right, let's see. That's a two for... Okay, we're not talking light fast anymore. We're talking how many pigments. Okay, so that's got two. Yellow pale has got one. I'll pull them back in here in a second. Um, that's got two. That's got four. Two. Technically, neon pink is one. Uh, that's got two. Two, two. Titanium white is one. Orange red has one. That's got two, two. 
Yellow ochre has one, four, two, three, three. Ultramarine blue has one. Student grade acrylic also has pink. I think I maybe I just haven't looked close enough to the bottles. Yeah, we're still here. If white has three stars, that's the highest. Yes, it has three stars. Yeah. Let's see. Lilac. That has three. That has three. Violet has one. I'll move them all back over here in a second. That's two. Three. Two. I know this is thrilling for all of you. I'm having fun. <laughs> three. I mean, really, where else can I go where I can just talk about art supplies and just, you know, not have someone roll their eyes at me? Uh, that has one. Uh, woo, blues and paint. Orange, yellow. That has one. It's vermilion red. That has one. Three. Black obviously has one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, two, three. Let's see. Lilac. I had that one a second ago, didn't I? That's mauve. Oh, lilac. Here it is. Hold up. This one is lilac. <laughs> it's a good thing I know my numbers. The funny thing is, is lilac seems so much darker than I'd anticipate. So that one is PW6 and PV23. I mean, even after adding water, it's still pretty dark. I just imagine lilac is much lighter. I use about seven to 10 single pigment colors in all of my paintings. Yeah, I think there's only 12, 12 total in this. Um, okay, so this one is, is that PV23, the lilac? The lilac is PW6 and PV23. PV23 is violet. This one's PV23. So you'll be able to see so lilac is white and violet mixed. I mean, you can see just how much darker, darker it gets. So here, let's look at how dark that is. That is intense. It's really interesting to me though, because apparently lilac is made with white and this purple. But lilac almost seems warmer. Lilac almost seems warmer than violet itself. That doesn't seem quite right to me. Yeah, PW, not PY. Dark unicorn, right? Yes, it's totally Belinda's picture. Because, like, here. What's the mauve like? Let's see, this is mob PW6, PBK11, and PV23. So this one's the mob. Yeah, it does remind me like a bit more of like a mob. That's fair. But I mean, if they label it, so that's the mob. I could see that being mob. Yeah, that one makes sense to me. But like, so according to the tubes, lilac is made with PW6 and PV23. Okay, so PW6. So PV23 is the violet, PW6 is the white. Okay, so let's grab a little bit of white. If I were to mix PV23 and PW6 like they say, here, let's just mix it in here. Look at that. That is not even. This is so much, a much cooler color. I mean, look at that difference. That bothers me that it's supposedly pre-mixed with those two colors. And yet, I mean, that is very clearly a warm purple and a cool purple. This looks more, yeah, this looks more like a lilac to me and this would be like a lavender. So yeah, that bothers me. It also depends on how finely the pigment is ground. PV19 could be multiple colors from one pigment. Oh, well, that bothers me. I suppose, but then why would they say that it's PW6 that's blended in it, see? So you have, let's get this in focus. Okay, so look, so it says PW6 and PV23. So PV23, PW6, I got a much cooler purple out of that. The pigments in PV23 were ground differently. It's not a big deal. I suppose, it's lies, all lies, it is lies. It's just, this, this paint is full of lies. 
It is full of untruths. <laughs> untruths and lies. Oh, okay. Well, still. For a beginner like me who doesn't know that, it's very distressing. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. So single, single, uh, all these four paints. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Two. 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 Paint sleep on a bed of lies. <laughs> uh, okay, cobalt blues to Jane Blundell for nerding out on pigments. Yeah, put the link in the promo channel, because honestly, I'll probably forget. Whereas as soon as I turn off the camera, I'm probably going to be like, hmm, snap card, and I'm not going to remember because that's me. That's why I keep sticky notes close on hand. I mean, if I'm being perfectly honest, food tends to overwhelm my brain at times. Again, you're talking to the girl who literally stood in front of the freezer for a full 10 seconds before I realized that I was looking for a drinking glass, and drinking glasses are not in the freezer. Oh, see, here's lavender. PW6, PV23, and PV6. I don't know which one PV6 is. I'll have to look. Okay, um, that's three. Ah, lemon yellow. Seaweed. That one's called seaweed. PW6 can be Chinese white, titaniumite, and blah, blah, titanium. Oh, interesting. Handprint for pigment info. It is in light refractory info. Dang. That's like hardcore. Well, I just cooked a roast for the last two hours in an unplugged. Oh, no, Daniela. Oh, I've done that. I've done that. Oh, I'm sorry. We should order Chinese. It's not a bad idea. I don't know if our Chinese place is open, though. Okay, how many we got here? There should be 12. Five. I can't count. Wait. Is that 13? That can't be right. I must have. Oh, because I threw in the neon pink. That's why. Okay, so our singles are. Is there a singles bar for these paints? <laughs> All right, move over, you paints with too many colors in you. Move over. Ah, this isn't your pile. Okay. <laughs> Okay, single pigments are good for mixing your own colors as you're less likely to end up with naughty colors. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Okay, let's zoom on in, lighten that up. There we go, is that bright enough? Make sure we're nice and in focus. Eh, let's lighten it one more. Okay, so single pigment paints, yellow pale is PY1. PY1 for the yellow pale. Lemon yellow is PY3. Oh, thanks, Joanna. Yeah, I had fun painting these yesterday. And then let's see. Let's let's go in yellow to darker order here. Okay, so orange yellow is oh, there's a glare. What does that say? P either O or zero. P zero one. I didn't put zeros. I'm gonna guess P O thirteen for orange yellow. And then orange red is yeah. I think that's an O. P O three four. Vermilion is PR4. Scarlet Red is PR21. Are we counting the neon pink? I feel like we shouldn't count that one. Not best for light fastness. Let's see, which one? PY1. They've got it at three, but they do have the vermilion red, orange red, and orange yellow all at two. Ultramarine blue is PB29. Let's see. Thalo, it's P.O. Gotcha. Thalo blue is P.B. 15. Violet is P.V. 23. And I need to zoom out. Sorry. There we go. That's better. Um, okay. And then Noir is P.B.K. 11. Okay. Titanium white is P.W. 6. And lastly, because it's just all awkward, doesn't fit anywhere, um, yellow ochre is PY42. PB15. Halo blue, I could see that. I could see that, definitely. So, Boots, I think you answered this question before, but I don't remember. When I think singles, I think primary colors. So, you know, your yellows, your reds, and your blues. 
but they have oranges and violet. I mean, and a yellow ochre. Why are there no greens again? You told me this at one point, but I don't remember. Here we go. Put that there. I know you told me, but I just don't remember. Oof, I'm gonna move these waters. Look at all these paints. I think four is the max that these are all mixed in. What about the black? Is the black pretty staining? I would think just for the fact that it's black that it's got to be pretty staining. <laughs> I'm cool with that, Shannon. This one's interesting. Jade green. So you know what's funny? Is the church I grew up in. Um, yeah, this isn't going to get like religious or anything. But the church I grew up in. Remember the nursery was painted in like a seafoam green. Like this... There we go. You can see now it's like a jade green. But this color always just reminds me of the nursery at the church I grew up in. <laughs> For some reason or another. They most likely are giving you greens you can paint directly with, not have to mix. Ah, uh, that's fair. Yeah, because there's a fair amount of greens. So we're talking green shades. This is why I think if you were a beginner and wanted pre-mixed colors, this set would probably be pretty good for you because, gosh... There are a lot of greens. A lot of greens. Let's zoom out just a tad. So, like, we've got light green, sage green, jade green, eucalyptus, seaweed, deep green, mint green, olive green, sap green, pear green, and viridian green. I think viridian green is probably the prettiest. They aren't pretty on their own. What does it look like, though? Like, I mean, I don't think hair green is all that pretty when you say they're not pretty what do you mean convenience greens are very convenient yes <laughs> they don't look realistic so you need to mix them anyway but what do you mean they don't look realistic i'm good at greens but blues and sky is a killer i use single single pigment green to mix my black oh interesting yeah it's pretty decent it's brought a pretty good selection. And then we've got like for blues, indigo, cobalt, like because I didn't go through all the colors on the review video, mostly because last time I did a review video, I had somebody specifically say they didn't like the fact that the video was filled with just swatches um, and they wanted to know more about the product, which I get. So that's what I focused on this time was more product and less here are all the colors kind of thing. Not to mention this was a lot of colors from for paint. It's a little bit different. Um, Halo green reminds me of the malachite green in color pencil. Ah, the way our rods and cones work in pack first perception of green. Oh, yeah. Cobalt blue is in a single pigment. Um, it is not. No, they've got PW6 and PB15. So phthalo blue and white is what they've got it mixed with. Here, let me see if I can make it so you can see a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so like Thalo Blue is single, Ultramarine is single, Indigo is PB15 and PBK11. And we have the Cobalt Blue, PW6 and PB15. Prussian Blue is PB15 and PB23. Aegean Blue is PW6, PB15 and PBK11. Sky Blue is PW6, PB29 and PB15. Then we have Cerulean Blue, PW6, PG7, and PB15. And then Stone Blue has four, and that's PW6, PB15, PG7, and PBK11. Ah, uh, got you, Roslyn. Yeah. How can I make that? <laughs> the Cobalt will be staining and non-granulating. I love True Cobalt Blue, PB28. Oh, I bet you that's pretty. It'll be non-staining. Let's see, did we do cobalt with that? I think we did cobalt for this one. Yeah, I think this one was cobalt. These two right here. Well, I guess four, but it was the same thing, essentially. I think cobalt was what we did for that one. Yeah. But then there's loads of pinks also. I mean, you got the neon ones. So, I mean, if you're talking like skin tones too, would you believe this, this orange stain shows up in all my videos? That's actually like from, 
art markers or Copics. Anyway, that's an alcohol stain that I can't get up. Because if I clean this with alcohol, it actually wipes away the white stuff. Anyway, fun fact. A little warmer. I think I'd add the smallest amount of yellow. That's fair. That is a lot of blue, yeah. I don't know. Mauve, I guess, is more of a purplish. But if we're talking things that have, like, red tones in them. Ooh, wineberry. I like that. Bubblegum. Peach. Ballerina pink. That's nice. Um, taupe. That's a little bit of a pink as well. Spiced apple. I suppose that's more in, like, the peachy color. But, yeah. There's a lot of good, like, flesh tones and browns and stuff like that. Guys, an amazing organ. Each cell is ability to see about 100 grain shades each. That's, it's awesome to me. And it's also, like... Because not everybody sees color the same. If, you know, Steve and I joke about, you know, like, hey, that's blue. No, that's green kind of thing. But the fact of the matter is, it could very possibly be that he sees more green in that color and I see more blue. Like, it's just the eyes are not the same. I mean, it makes it difficult sometimes. For the most part, they're all pretty close, but it's like very, very, like, easy shades. You know what I mean? Anyway. Um, did you guys want to see any more? Did you have any other colors you wanted to look closer at? Background orange, that's a cool color. I feel like I should do a picture with these just for the sake of learning more with them, you know? I don't know, my thing is I like to sketch things out beforehand and then draw them and fill them in, kind of like I do coloring. So like getting a piece of paper and just like painting, like, hey, I'm gonna paint a landscape, but the wine color, yes. Wineberry, here you are. Wink. Ooh, bah, bah, bah. There we go. Here, let's put it right here. Lower that, that's a bit bright. Okay, so this is Wineberry with PW6, PR13, and PBR6. I feel like this could be considered a mauve too. Although partly because it says Wineberry, part of me wants it to have, you know, be a bit richer. That's a bit more toned than I'd like for something that's wine. Like, let's see. Like a darker version of this. Okay, here we go. This is rose. Okay. But then, like I'd want to add a little bit of violet. Oh, Joanna. So do you like tubes or pans more? Um, With my current knowledge of how to use these, I'm going to say pans. And then I want to take a little bit of this. But that isn't to say that um, I couldn't begin to like tubes. But part of that is just, I think, lack of knowledge. But just going based on my current knowledge, I think definitely um, pans. A little bit more ease of use, I feel like. I feel like that's a good kind of wine color. How do we feel about that? Now we're just mixing paint for fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can't even see. Ugh, look at me. Sorry, Ali. <laughs> Thank you. Here, let's let's throw in some of that pink. See what we come up with. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's insane. It's so bright. That's so bright. Mixing paint is just actually that's a really nice color right there. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, I agree, Boots. I agree. All right. Well, it is midnight here. I'm getting sleepy. I'm getting hungry. Steve is probably getting kind of tired. Ooh, here. Let's do something real quick. Let's mix it all. See what we come up with. <laughs> Coming out very pink. A uh, very pink. Very pink. <laughs> we go there we go this is what we're wanting nice brown color i know right ally okay i really like this color of green actually <laughs> i actually really like this green i kind of want to keep it now and save it and use it later is that weird that i like this green i like that green <laughs> Okay, I think I've officially reached my point. All right, ladies. 
and gentlemen, if there's any gentlemen here, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And Rosalind, thank you for your super chat. Joanna, thank you for your super chat. I know Tanya and Evelyn aren't here anymore, but happy birthday to Tanya and Evelyn. You guys were absolutely wonderful. Boots, thank you for all your information. So this convenience screen. I know. I know. I might need to get the gouache. I don't know. But I am going to go get some sleep and some food. And yeah, we got a big Halloween -y day tomorrow. And don't forget to hit the notifications for Belinda's channel for tomorrow's event. Okay? It's going to be lots of fun. Yoink. There we go. All right, everyone. Have a great night. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay? Go to Belinda's channel. I won't be on mine. It'll be Belinda's channel. Okay? No! <laughs>